Little red caridia shrimp. The full of my microbes. I hope so. Everything is full of microbes, you guys. <laughs> Including us. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks sort of cantaloupe sizey. Uh -huh. It's like 10 centimeters, 10. I think so. Nice. That looks like it's gonna give. There you go. Nice. Oh, looks oh. loose. Do you mind zooming a little bit? Hold that. Thank you. Maybe try rotating your jaws 90 degrees there. Oh yeah, that's definitely loose. It's kind of an awkward uh, angle. I can yeah. Do it. There you go. That's a good angle there. Okay. I need to. I need both feet. Sure. Take your time. I'm gonna look down a little bit. Maybe I'll get you a better angle. Mm. Give it to me. Nice. Um, is this the one we want? Yes. I think Val, you're not is asking. that too altered? That uh, looks fine, but I don't know if she saw this. Can you push it on the it zoom? Out. Hold that. Beth says that's fine. Okay. So, okay. so yeah, it goes in the forward? Yes. yes, please. Raj, come wide. Okay, are you racked back? I'm not full racked back. Negative. Raj, this I'm might halted. Um, so just make sure that the jaws don't open towards the lens, yeah. Coming out. And our iris down a bit there. Stand by, I'll put you on bubble. Raj. Okay, got bubble. Can you? Uh, never mind. Where are you? Nice. Should just dangle in there like a steak. <laughs> <laughs> Finally aged. Nicely aged. Good old Cretaceous steaks. Nice. Was <laughs> nice. Let's get there. Nice. Open. Open. And there that'll be 14 nice. seal mug. <laughs> so coming in. Raj. And then we're going to do a water sample here. So you're going to keep it out. Yeah. Have a few shout outs to our scientists ashore that are helping us out. Chris and Ken and Asako. Thank you so much for your support. All right. On this ID, all these things. And then, Leela, we're going to take this sample. We're 1.2 off the deck. Uh, stand by. Perfect. We're going to change cameras now. Raj, Raj. Uh, coming on. OK. Everything OK? Yep, all good. OK. taking a water sample right now with Niskin bottles.
to do some eDNA at the same site that we collected our rocks. This is dual purpose, both for looking at the microbes um, in Can concert with the rock sample we just took, I'm and we'll also pull some out for, for the eDNA. Yes. Yeah. Nice. There you go, very there nice. Two for. I got eyes on it. I don't got it anymore. Popped. Nice. Excellent. Get out of there. Get. Nice. All right. Doing some geology. <laughs> and some microbes. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go while, while Kylie gets that stowed. We're heading to waypoint three after this. Is that correct? Yep. Raj. And uh, once we reach waypoint three, um, I think it would be interesting to pause and kind of look around that saddle area a little bit. Roger that. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Looks like we have about 45 Sorry. minutes on our watch. Good. OK. Nice. For those of you just joining us, we are Working our way up unnamed sea mount. Go ahead and start that move. I'll get myself out. N. It will be in 170. Sorry, can you repeat? 170. 170, Raj. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Approach this is nav. Moving f 50 meters on bearing 170. Affirmative. Roger that. Oh, we may be too late, Chris. Sorry, was there another sample request? Uh, he was asking for a zoom on the branching thing on the upper left, but I'm not sure. I missed when that came in, so we may be past it. Raj, hopefully we'll see another one up in the future, yeah? We're at a depth of about 1,283 meters and ascending up a ridge. There goes a guy. Sponge spool of stuff. <laughs> Another stack up. Yeah. <laughs> that must be the, uh, that must be the, uh, call it. Go ahead and push on in there real quick while we. Must be where the nightlife is. Because <laughs> it's full of Hollywood stars, is that why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that way. Look at oh. that little cup girl in the back. They're so cute. Got any more zoom on that guy? Cool. Oh, oh yeah, good eye, Leela. I didn't see that. <laughs> How could you miss it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just begging to be looked at. <laughs> it's just so little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full away there. Up is spicy. There's been a request to name our watch the Cretaceous Stakes. Oh, <laughs> Cretaceous Stakes. Hi, Cretaceous Stakes. Does that Look mean that. we're chewy and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, is that, what does that mean? <laughs> what are we saying about us here? I <laughs> somebody, else, stakes. somebody else thought it would be a great band name. Oh, that would be. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Electric Skate is a good band name because they is. like wrap themselves around. No, Electric Burrito. They wrap themselves around their um, the skates wrap themselves around their prey and like electrify them. So Electric Burrito is like a good ska band name. <laughs> <laughs> That's Isn't awesome. <laughs> yeah. San Diego bass band. Yeah, <laughs> right total, mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, the saddle is a lot flatter. It is. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of the sponges and stuff are growing out of um, uh, sort of the depression cracks in yeah. the in the crust. All right, Kylie, okay, you wanna? Did you do a set of gauges and then we can switch? I do it on the 30s. Oh, Raj. No, I, I did it once we got to the bottom, and then I um, just to kept with that time frame. But I can basically do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. And also just spots. Got some fish oh, in the middle. A, of yeah, a couple of them together. Oh, sorry? Oh, yeah, the little 
little guys there. Oh yeah. Are those halosaurs again? Maybe. I always have to see their head better. I know. All right, go ahead and push on in there a bit, please. No, actually, they don't look quite as Are they the Kumbas? Elongated. The little Kumbas? Maybe. Yeah, that could be. They're pretty tiny. And I think yeah. those are usually lighter. Sorry. It okay. does look like that. Thanks. Zoom. Chris, did we let you down? <laughs> <laughs> All right, full wide, please. Now oh, I wish we had a ska band on board. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be? There's we some basically really do. Musicians yeah, on true. board this ship right now. <laughs> Very impressed. Oh, he's got, Chris is saying those are rat tails. Uh, are I think Kumbas fall in that though, don't they? Do they? Because Cory Phenoides yeah. is a Mercurid also. Oh, he Kumba. agrees. All right. Yeah, look at that. That's Yay. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. One of our viewers wondering what we do with our samples after we're done analyzing them. Um, the rocks or the bio? All of it, I think. I guess there are two pathways from forward from that, but one of them is the sample itself. We'll go to repositories, and there are different repositories for the rock and the bio samples. The bio samples go to the Museum of Comparative Zoology. The rock samples, once all the processing has been done, go to the GSO at URI. But then there's also like, well, do you want to talk about what, what do you actually do with the data that you get from the samples? Uh, so yeah, the samples that we bring back to um, the labs for uh, uh, like geochemical and age determination work. Uh, we'll we'll uh, pr uh, process those samples uh, in-house and prepare them for whatever kind of analysis. And then uh, we usually keep some extra uh, material that we aren't using for chemistry uh, archived um, in uh, in our various departments, uh, just in case there's like any replication data replication that we want to do or somebody else uh, that we know might want to. Uh, uh, work on that same uh, uh, that same portion of the sample, um, doing something a little bit different. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, most of the geological material ends up at uh, uh, one of the rock repos repositories, and uh, there um, it becomes available for uh, also other scientists to work on. Um, and then, yeah, the data that we collect from it. Um, that helps us understand uh, the origins of these seamounts and uh, gives us a little bit of a peek in some ways. Uh, Snap zoom there, please, Rick. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just a little peek into what the uh, deep interior of a tectonically active planet looks like. Since we can never, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, for us to ever directly access uh, uh, the Earth's mantle. Full wide, please. All right, Kylie, you ready? Some of those orange discs, I think, like we saw earlier. Uh, no? I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that one is. Yes. Oh, thank you. Steve saying that was a hydroid we just looked at. Um, Sorry, that was a hydroid, not a coral. Hydrozoan. Chris is going to look it up. I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like that. Wow, oh. that's crazy if that was. You want one of the Victor Gorgia, the purple ones? I don't think we've zoomed on these guys yet. Go ahead and push on in there, please, right? So they're calling that a Solandaria. Solandaria, okay. Are we, do we currently have a ship move in, Solomon? Um, we almost uh, five meters and then we'll stop. I think they would like to stay around at this area for some time. Is that correct? Yeah, I'd like to uh, 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 
kind of get a survey of what we have oh, wait, here. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot for geological sampling, but that's okay because we just uh, took a couple. But yeah, um, let's spend a few minutes uh, exploring this, this flatter area and then uh, start uh, working our way up toward uh, waypoint four. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll hold here until you say so. Yeah, roger that. Bridge, this is Nav. Hold position, please. Thank you. All right, so uh, Chris Kelly was curious, uh, and, and me too, uh, what, what sort of currents are we experiencing here? Yeah, there's actually not, there's no rip in currents. You can see some coming towards my face right now, so I'm no, no stick. Okay. But, so that's, we're facing 030, but it's very light, barely noticeable. Interesting. Yeah, because we've been talking a little bit over here about um, why the sponges seem to be concentrating uh, in like the, the depressions and the cracks in the manganese crust. Mm. It looks like there's a little more sedimentation maybe there, but um, it's, it's not clear why they're clustering like that. Not yeah. immediately anyway. Would it be helpful to sit down on one of those, like this, this depression here and just zoom in tight on the ground or? Um, yeah, let's get a look at what's on the ground, and it also looks like there might be, um, there might be some stuff that we might want to get a closer look at, too. Some of these, uh, I think I'm seeing some corals again. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'll sit down here, and then we can just zoom in on whatever you guys feel like when we're sit down. Okay, thanks. Sure. The purple, I think, was Victor Gorgia. Yeah. And the... Other than that, looks very spongy. Mm. What's the orange on the like bottom right? Oh, hanging out in that crevice, this yeah. one? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Fell off my heading there. I had my nice perch. It might be the same as the other anemones we see on the left. Okay. Yeah, Chris says that a lot of these sponge species glue themselves onto the rocks, so um, that doesn't work if you're trying to glue yourself to sediment. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything that is going right, on go ahead here and in these cracks. Bit, please, Rip. Oh, that looks like a nice rock there. Oh, there's another one <laughs> of those weird, like almost arthropody looking, like right in the center of the screen. That brown near the base of the sponge. Could that oh, be yeah. some sort right of worm? There. Yeah, that. It, right, yeah. I would say worm. It almost looked like it had this like plated plated section earlier. Yeah, I saw that earlier. And you can kind of see it. You get that platy section again right there. Mm hmm exactly. You want any more zoom on that one? If we could zoom all the way, that'd be great. All right. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. I can't tell from here what that plate bit looks like, you know. I don't know. Hmm. Looks. I saw that, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not sure if that rock is uh, attached or if it's loose. You want to come a little wide there, please? The rock that the sponge is currently on is a bit yeah. big there, though. It's pretty big. <laughs> I, it's big, yeah. Looking at it, I, th I think it's in place. I think it's fixed. Yeah, maybe we'll the rocks yes. on the left, maybe they are loose. Um, oh legs. yeah, in the upper left. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like they might actually be. Sako is asking, what is it at the base rock, uh, base of the sponge? I think I think maybe Where's she was thing? asking about what we were just zooming on. Okay. Yeah. You wanna come a little wide there, please? And then, is there anything else you wanna close zoom in on? Maybe that coral or anything else? Um. See, I think Kasako is typing. Uh, can we pan up a little bit, please? Sure. We've got more of those uh, tube-shaped sponges. You want to open the iris a little bit there, please? That's great. Uh, yeah, the base sponges. All right. The white fan to the left. I think it's down at the bottom of the screen now. Lower left? Yeah, I think the one in the center there. Do you want, uh, yeah, let's zoom in on that one if we can. Go ahead. 
I'm gonna do a slight bump to the right. Okay. Please watch your eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like set up for a perch, so that's yeah, okay. I'm gonna come a little wide there so we don't make people seasick. And then I'll do one small bump. Wee bump. <laughs> 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 All right, you know what? That's uh, that is that is worse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, uh, what if you do it from the hydraulics page? Yeah. Same, same, I'll, same. We'll just zoom in here on the polyps. <laughs> we'll say it's a polyp shot. <laughs> <laughs> Raj. <laughs> All right, anything else you guys want to see, or should we just keep moving? Um, I'd say let's pick up and get moving. Roger that. Full wide, please. We still at a speed of 0.2 knots for our moves? Yep. Yeah, yeah. we could do 0.2. Okay, cool. Asaka was saying that the, the weird brown circular thing we were zooming on might be a chitin, which makes sense because it has that mollusk foot looking thing. And then I guess it's just that the that their, their plated their plated shell portion uh, is not covering that much of their foot. They just have a smaller plated hey, section. Huh. Okay, so let's keep an eye here. So I look like I gave you a 6 8 wrap. So if we start moving, it will be on. And there's a big fan. 180. 180, Roger. I think that's the one we saw earlier. Okay. Shall we start? Yes, please. Okay. Fresh, this is nav. 50 meters on bearing 180. Yes, please. And I'm just going to zoom ahead in front of Argus here, Atlanta. So, sorry, we'll get closer to the ground, I promise. There's okay. a little bath Thank you, Bridge. Kylie, you want to take out that 6 8 there? Take it out? Uh, take out the 6 8 wrap. Oh, Raj. I was like, I think our delta's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your delta's fine. <laughs> A little bit of black coral yeah, mixed in there. Another bath of bathies. I'm very curious to see if the manganese crust <coughs> on these yeah. rocks is thicker given how just locked down everything is. That almost looks, uh, I can't see from here totally, but that in the right almost looked Walteria E. Oh, I missed it. We can take a look. Um, further. That. Oh yeah, oh. nice eye. Yeah. Hmm. Although not quite as long of spines, but similar. Still probably. Uh, are those euplectelids or rosellids? I always forget. All right, go ahead and start your push there. There's either a commensal inside of it or behind it. I can't quite tell. You can go ahead and zoom on in there, please, right? Okay, like you guys squared up that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Walteria or some you plucked out it. Okay, go ahead and push it a little bit more. That's good. So like it has an associate living in there, something yeah. small, yeah. shrimpy. Yeah, it looks shrimpy. It's hard to tell. A big ophiroid down on the left. Oh, yeah. VIP lounge in there. <laughs> lounge you can never leave. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, full wide, please.
That looks sort of like, well, I don't know, I can't tell. That looks almost like the tree to pleura we were seeing yesterday. Mm. Or two days ago, whenever that was. But sort of more foldy. Oh, these are interesting. Ooh, look at that, that yeah. yeah. Those are roselids. Go ahead and start your zoom in there, please. Is it just me, or are some of the sponges uh, getting taller? Or is that just, you know, just because we're running into some different species? Uh, this section definitely has more of those. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different species than we've seen so far. Okay, that's Although what I was thinking. Although we've been seeing a lot in this family. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a pig's ear in the background. Mm -hmm. thingy. Oh, the yeah. yeah, totally. Interesting. All right, full wide, please. kind of interesting we're seeing like mostly the same things but then occasionally just clusters of these really different ones yeah was that a star oh, yeah that was a different sea star oh that one's eating very hungry it's very casual right now yeah could we zoom on that sea star real quick please yeah totally okay go ahead and push on in there a bit please i'm not sure if we've seen one of those yet no we haven't let's see uh, yeah, I'll get you a better shot. Oh, that Go is ahead. a chonker. <laughs> a <laughs> nice. Oops, sorry. Hmm. Me sitting on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anybody have a thought? It almost looks like this hy hypisteria. Sorry, it's not very steady, this shot. Can I come a little wide, please? Let's get there. But probably go near steroid. I wouldn't want to eat that. Ooh, or this one. Sarah Master, maybe? Well, that looks like a pretty good match. Yeah, that looks, I think that, that's probably it. Sarah Master. All right, full wide, please. And that was seen in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Mm -hmm. Ooh, center screen. That looks like a good rock grab. The one that has a cup coral attached to it. Uh, we're on the move currently. Oh, okay. Are, we, are, I think we're, are there still? No, uh, we have a... We I, have can, I can stop now and then you are... Do you, yeah. do you want this one? or? Yeah, let's see if we can get that one. Okay, you on the back. Also Bridge, the this is I missed that. Is there a rock? I think there's a rock. Hold the position, please. Thank Forgot you. about that call. All right, Kylie, you want to get the arm out? Uh, we'll see if this guy's loose. Yeah, Keep we're looking at that one. Okay. Okay. And it looks like we may have an incidental couple of cup corals coming with it. Mm -hmm. uh, push on, you want to push on in there, please, real quick? Happy, before we happy to keep them. I think that's Ooh. in there. Yeah, that looks yeah, attached that to looks the base. Attached, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's, yeah. Let's keep going. Broad, right, broad. please. But cut coral zooms. Kylie was ready on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want? Let me get it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. right. <laughs> get it, please. Insta rock. Bridge, this is Nav. <laughs> Can we make another move, please? Uh, Fifty meters. One eight zero. What is that? Is that an old, old sponge? sponge? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Creepy. Or is that a big Victor Gorgia? You want to go ahead and push on in there a bit, please? Oh, that would be crazy if it was. Let's get there. Oh, no. Get I don't closer. know. I can't tell. It's a sponge what? overgrown with... Uh, a sponge um, overgrown with something else. Yeah. It's really hard to tell the Victor Gorgia apart from something purple, still and like... <laughs> 
That's cool. Are we able to circle around? It looks like you're already doing it. Yeah, we'll get you a circle. Until I hit a rock, then we'll <laughs> stop the circle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the sponge is almost, it is, was dying on the outside edge on the left there. I don't know. Yeah. Or is is partially, maybe it is dead and fully covered with something else. Yeah, I don't know. Can I go ahead and push it on a bit, please? We'll get the purpley color. That's great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. nice shot. Really pretty. Yeah. Uh, look at that. <laughs> the Victor Gort or the little encrusting thing on it is it makes it a stunning shot. It does. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. It almost looks like it's decaying, like a piece of moldy bread. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Are you going to come a bit wide there, please? And I'll start moving along again. Steve had some thoughts in the science chat, Leela. Yeah, yeah, they are definitely still in reference. OK, cool. Maybe Trachothela species. Yes, please. Thank you. Man, these fields just keep going. infinite sponges. Hmm. I think they say uh, sponge fields forever was what the beetles were talking about. <laughs> Big one. Oh, that's pretty. Saco, which... Do a quick zoom here again, please. That's great. Asako, you wanted a sample of which, of what we're looking at currently, or what we just passed? You want to stop the ship, please? You're muted. Pull wide, please. Push this is now. Uh, hold position, please. Is that a confirmed we want this this uh, sponge here? Uh, waiting to hear uh, back. Uh, I think the purple uh, purple sponge. The, the dying one? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, but I think you're right, based yeah. on what they're saying. Suleiman, you want to back the ship up maybe 20 meters or so? Uh, uh, back it up. So we were going... Um, one seven zero. So if we want to go the reciprocal, yeah. Bridge. This is Nav. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Asaka. Can we move uh, on north ten meters, please? Oh yeah, there it is. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. We have a little delay on the chat sometimes. Sure thing. All right, let's go over here. Is there a specific part that you'd be interested in, Asako? Do you want to actually make it a 20 meter step back there, please? Would you mind making it a 20 meter step back instead of a 10? Okay. Thanks. Let's start move, then we'll call for another one. Gotcha. All right, Kelly, you want to get the arm out? Bridge, this is Nav. Can you call for another move north uh, 10 meters and make the speed 0.3 of a knot, please? Yes.
might be up against a wall, so let me know. <laughs> That's not okay. the parking spot you want. Yeah, you want to get the arm out a little bit, and then I'll set up on the rock. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, and then I think you might want to change the grip force down a bit. Raj. Four? Yeah, four. Let's try four. Dodge. Yeah. Asako is appreciating um, your work. Oh, I'll wait till you're done. Sorry. Oh, no. You're all good. We're getting a good tug by Argus right now, so we're going to wait for the ship to move into position. Okay. Also, uh, well, okay, Raj. I was going to say I can come down a little, but Raj, Raj. Yeah, we're pretty tight right now. Yeah. yeah. She was saying no one on the uh, chat is able to distinguish between uh, purple octocorals, Stolonifers, or Victor Gorgia. Would you mind please dropping a target purple here? Edge. We're getting tugged, so I'll come back here. But would you mind dropping a target so we can get back to the sponge? Purple edge of the sponge. Yep. <laughs> Raj, Raj, Raj. So we're also getting a quick yeah, peek down good. slope. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're good. Okay. We're just, uh... All right. Well, we're getting a quick peek Thanks. down the slope uh, from this camera angle, too, and it's showing a very similar density of uh, sponge growth as we're seeing up on the top of the ridge. So, no signs as of yet of that dropping off on the slopes, but we'll try to get some peaks here and there later in the dive on either side of the ridge. Was it before, like when we were here, right? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's that's about good there. We'll know where the general area is. Okay. It'll just take a moment, science, for everything to get back into position so we can take the sample. Sounds good, thank you. Sure thing. We'll get set up on the cameras. Like we're so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just barely out of reach. Let me add it. Got another shout out to the front row from Will Sellers, who's a former pilot. Hey, Will. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, Will trained me up. Wow, oh, shucks, like five years ago now, Will. I've never met Will, but I've only heard good things. <laughs> <laughs> Got a question about what the black and white object is on the port side of the porch. I want to guess a rock. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, a it's a mesh scoop. scoop. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. There's a lot of them here. Yeah, the I one think that's we need, I think we need dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's see if that's good. Okay. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Obviously, Jess is not very observant terribly right now. <laughs> Did you see that small mercurid? Um, no, I didn't. But okay. All right. Um, ready, ready? There it goes. Red. Okay. I'll uh, adjust if we get pulled around. So we don't need that big of a piece, just a, just a small piece from the edge so we can tell what the purple bits are. No, 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 no. So I guess I'll try to aim for in between the orange guys. Yeah. Because they want okay. the purple edge. Yeah, that's a good way. Raj, Raj. I don't, I think I'm still giving you a good tug, so I'm going to mitigate this as best you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
You want to push on in there a bit, please? A little bit more. Raj. I'll look up a little like bit a for you, Kylie. Uh, <laughs> a little bit out, just a little bit, a touch. That's that's cool. Yeah, he's been hanging out. Yeah, watching the action. Nice. That's a good setup. And we're going I to start index. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. If you want, it might be, you can also trim it that way. Raj. Oops. Okay. Maybe I can have that piece. Mm -hmm. Is that too big? You want, um, I think you want a bigger piece than that. Or do I want a bigger piece? That? Yeah, get a bigger uh, piece. They knocked the I thought piece. they said not too much of it. Yeah. But okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't need to be huge. Like, yeah, that 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 piece right there looks good. Good. What Val just motioned to. Okay. Wait. Can you can you tell tell us straight for me? Sure. The piece that you yeah, uh, yeah you, that you bumped it? with the manipulator. Okay. Yeah, that's a good size. Okay. 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 I think the grip force needs to. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get smaller. Yeah, you can make it one. It'd be good. Raj. Uh, would you mind squaring up on this guy, please? Just so I can see the ship starts tracking north. Thank you. So we need to that together. This we can also take for EDNA. This was just to EDNA. Nice. All right. Looks like you're lined up good. Yes. Nice. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yeah. Nice, well, nice, perfect. That's what we're taking. We sure. want lots. <laughs> Where? Oops, starboard, yes. Yes, please. Yeah. Raj. Box is coming open now. Okay. Raj, Raj. Oh, oh. it's okay. We got that. We got the section that we asked attended. for. It. Okay. All right, you got it on bubble. Raj, Raj. Um, and you got it over there. Switching over now. Raj. Is there one that's more preferable for less floatiness? Uh. I think, I mean, they're all they're in that all same starboard. wash area. Yeah. Okay. So I'd probably just go for B and make it consistent. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, B works. hard to believe our shift is winding down. That went yeah. fast. It flew. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe for this guy, since he'll float, just I like you want to get the... In the box. Yeah, you want your hand mostly in the box. Yes. Working on it. Working on it. Roger that. Let me know if you... And this Suleiman is 16. Okay. So, just do the thing. Just, just do the thing. Just do the thing. There you go. Nice. Very nice. There it goes. All right. All right. Maybe try rotating near the jaw a little bit, and you'll get the rest out of there. There you yep, go. There it goes. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, this is really challenging for the pilots to do because uh, they don't have binocular vision on the sample target. So um, we have to be very careful about figuring uh, how far away something is. And because I'm left-handed. <laughs> and we're using the right arm. Yeah, that's an extra layer of <sighs> difficulty. And I'm balancing it on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and the <Right>. ship's moving. <laughs> I didn't realize you had it in your lap. I can't see down to the front row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, you want to shoulder all the way up there, Kelly? Yeah. Nice. Right. So, hold on one second. There, we're going to do a watch change, guys. Uh, thanks for the good watch, guys. Yeah, really nice job. Yeah. We'll be back when we spell them for dinner, but in the meantime, yeah, this has been an amazing ride.
All right, uh, watch changeover for the ROV pilots and the science team. So uh, yeah, I'll see you again at dinner and then again at midnight Honolulu time. Hey. Front row, when you're ready for some chat, let me know. Yeah, ready for some chat. Uh, all right, so um, if we were looking at high pack, yep. um, we had just started on the west side of this um, mound feature that's coming up from a saddle. Okay. Before we go too far up uh, or south, um, I'd like to actually lateral to the east a little bit to okay. see what the eastern side of this feature looks like. Roger that. Let's lateral east. It, do you want a ship move for that, or do you just want to go within our within our scope? Maybe just a bump of the ship move to okay, see great. if we are around the side. 
Um, and we good. can maybe even come off bottom a little bit just so we can kind of see a little bit broader. Okay. So, uh, we're going east. We want zero, zero nine zero. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Sounds great. Let's do it. Ah. Oh. So hello to our audience watching all over the world. The four to eight shift is in effect. Um, we're still getting settled in here, but uh, Ashley, if you're could you just give me a heading of zero nine zero, please. If you're just joining us, uh, or even if you've been watching for a while, but maybe you've forgotten what we're doing. We are on a rugged ridge feature. You can come up on Delta too. That is what we think may be at the junction of two forks in the Lilio Kalani Ridge. So we're exploring this feature, um, uh, which is one of the higher points of this rugged area to see what kind of animal life is here and uh, try to get some rock samples. We've seen some really amazingly high density communities of sponges um, and corals. So we're, uh, we're heading south along these elongated ridge features and we're swinging around to the east side of one of these mounds to see if it has a diff different animal density than what we've been seeing as we've been hugging the right, uh, the west side. Often currents can be different on different sides of these uh, ridge features and that might affect the animal density. Ugh, too thick. And uh, a very happy birthday to our video engineer on shift today. Absolutely. Woo woo. Happy can't, birthday. Can't start Steven. watch without that. Happy birthday, Steven. Thank you all. Thank you for being born. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we need you to get these beautiful images <laughs> and zoom in. Okay. I need up my Grafana. Here we go. Oh, man. So, Sorry. back row, if you see anything in here that you want to zoom on, just holler. I'm happy to yep. accommodate. We will. You, you know the drill, but figured I'd say it anyway. It's always a good reminder. Mm -hmm. I'm back here trying to get the chat open. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. So, uh, so far, I think the density looks pretty similar. The communities look pretty similar to what we were seeing. Um, on the other side, but we haven't quite swung all the way around yet, so. There's a good amount of uh, north current here, too. Oh, really? Okay, earlier they were, uh, Jess wasn't feeling much of a current at all. Yeah, it's it's hard to, I didn't notice it going up the slope at all, but as soon as I was headed east, it sort of pushed me down the slope. Interesting, so okay. It's so not much, you can see the kind of flot, flotsam, wait, no. Uh, flotsam. Flotsam yeah. going by. Is it flotsam? Flotsam and jetsam. Anyway, the this the marine snow, it's flowing by down slope. Yeah, and you can also see that a bit in the Argus cam. All the marine snow in the water. One of the other th things we notice on earlier part of the dive is you'll <coughs> notice that these rocks all seem to be kind of glued together. Looks like a it almost looks like a fresh flow in some ways if it weren't covered with so many animals. There's a lot of shiny <laughs> smooth bits too. Exactly, yeah. So it doesn't, it's interesting. What do you think the age of this is? I guess that's the million dollar question. That is the it? million dollar question. Okay, to my 
scientist colleagues ashore, I apologize. I can't get my chat open yet. <laughs> Let's try this again. Do you have yours open? There we go. Thank you. I'll peek over Annabelle's shoulder. Do you mind like tilting that a little bit until I get this set up? Great. Hmm? No, you're good. I was just actually looking over here to see if pack was available, and it is. Okay. Um, now we might want to not go a full 50 meters on that ship move, just so we don't get too far away. Sure. Yeah, and then we can maybe start at a like 210 heading, not 210, I can't add, uh, <laughs> like 110, 120. Bridge nav. Can we go ahead and stop here? Thank you. It's one of these folded anemones we saw earlier on this big boulder. Can you zoom out on HiPAC just a tiny bit so I can see where we are in relation to the waypoints? Steve, could you zoom in on Herc Zeus, please? Yeah, that's great. So where is our next waypoint? Okay, just that thing. Is that our last waypoint? Oh no, surely there's more. Okay, great. Should it be? That's pretty. Okay, there's the next one. Yeah, waypoint four. Yeah, okay. That just might have been where we named, put the name target. Coming wide? Yeah, let's do that. Um, so we'll start ho heading Thank up you. slope a little bit, but maybe stay on this side for a little bit. Yay. Yes, a small boulder the size of a large boulder. <laughs> okay. So definitely some more broken boulders on this side than I think we were seeing on the other side. Sure, I zoned out. Was that 190? Thank you. All right. Um, Trevor, one of our priorities is to try to get some rock samples where we th see things that might look pick upable or break offable. Okay. Um, and especially since we're on the side that seems a bit to have some rubble. Yeah. Let's just keep our eyes peeled for that. Peeled eyes. Roger. Is this bacterial matting I'm seeing? What is this wispy stuff? That's a good question. Let's zoom have in, a zoom please. in on it. Let's check it out. It almost looks like webbing from far away. Oh, it could be an egg egg thing or a sponge or what am I looking at? Um, yeah, the spider web looking stuff. Yeah, definitely can look like webbing from far away. Interesting. Wow. The the pale brown is Ah, uh, old sponge sorry. pieces that have gotten sedimented, but I'm not sure about the white material. Yeah. Come on wide. Yeah, thanks. Oopsies. There's definitely a lot of it, whatever it is. Yeah. Chris Kelly coming in with uh, uh, possibly actinostola. Uh, I think that was from before we started zooming in oh, okay. on the spider web stuff. Okay. All right, Ashton, you can keep me in frame instead of zero nine zero, or wherever I end up going, you can look that way. Uh, generally, it's good to keep SPL on. Okay, update on can that spider web stuff. We have seen this before and have no idea what creates it. Wow. I don't think it's sea spiders. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mycelium of the sea.
All right, so we're now on the eastern side, heading a little bit upslope as we head south. And uh, yeah, just really incredible animal densities in this area, which I find just really impressive since the oxygen concentration here is pretty low. Yeah, actually somebody on SPL is actually wondering how our communities may be even able to grow this dense with such low oxygen concentrations. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all wondering. Okay. Some type of special adaptation for sure. Do we have the uh, lights all the way up on the um, Herc forward cam? Yeah. Okay. We can open the lens a little bit, maybe? Possibly? Thanks. The fine balance with all this very bright white stuff. Exactly, yeah, white and black. Bungees. The porch light is off. Would you like me to turn it on? No, that uh, that's our particle enhancer. <laughs> you can right. turn it on and we can see the difference. What's this uh, okay. little jelly? You see that? See how it's all washed out Are now? Are you talking yeah. about Okay, turn that Steven? off and then zoom in, please, Steve. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. Zoom in. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. It's like Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost. Totally. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. The ghost in Pac-Man. Absolutely. All right, ghost I'm going to bail out before I squish something. Oh, what? Thank you. Beth. Yes? I just finished my birthday gift that you gave me earlier. Yeah, this one you're supposed to share. And now there's another. <laughs> this is beautiful. Dean's Sweets. Shout out Dean's Sweets. Yeah. Free <laughs> Portland, Maine. A little bit of Portland, Maine here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Alphabet or no? Right, I'll pass it around. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Let's, uh, before we put in another move, let's yeah. just look around, see if we can see any rocks that we might want be able to pick up. Like, I'm wondering if we can get that. That might be too big. Might be pretty big. Okay. Have to be quick, because Argus is still on the go. Oh, okay. But uh, that's fine. I'm happy to be expeditious. That's pretty big. That's about 20 centimeters wide. Okay. We can do it, if you want. Yeah, uh, big is fine for the geology samples. Okay. As long as there's space in the bio box to fit it. That's there a question side, you. Space side in the bio, bio box. box. Yeah, the starboard bio box uh, E. Yeah, okay, okay, E is open. Let's Fantastic, let's try it out. Um, Might be a bit of a reach, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, they're almost done, that's fine. I gotta be fast no matter what. So Val, I think you we're trying to arm, please? target that yes. one if you wanna just let me know if you're on side chat, if that one looks good. Perfect. Confirming we're going for this one? Right there. Ooh, this one. Yes. It's loose. Can he grab it? Ooh, what's going on here? That's not the right grip force. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah, we had set it pretty low for the last coral uh, grab. Trippy. Oh, that's just my me problem now. Look at that. Ooh, that is wow, not boy. Small. That is heavy. That is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sinking. Yeah, that's a, that's a weight plate dropper rock. That is a very large rock. Okay. That um, probably will fit in the box, but I can't say for sure. Let, uh, let's hold for just a second, maybe get some glamour shots, and we'll wait to hear from Val if she thinks this is suitable. All right, so we should move the vehicle I'm getting then. some glam shots for sure. I'm going to move along. Yep. Okay. Keep up without... Yeah, Having we can. Argus overrun us. What's it called? Atalanta. Sorry, <laughs> muscle memory. <laughs> okay, Val says nice pillow fragment, so I think that means it's a keeper. Okay. Once you're in a good position to stow it. Can you tell me if there's anything floaty in Echo or Foxtrot boxes? 
There's uh, not an echo or foxtrot. Okay, great. I will open the box halfway. That's correct. Yeah, there's a small piece of coral, I think, in B. Yeah, roger that. Or sponge, actually. Sponge, I think, that happened just as we were coming here. Looks like we may have an attached mm -hmm. um, animal. Had. Had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gone now. And just to clarify, there are two bio boxes on Hercules, okay, or more than that? Preset, please. There okay. are two stowage places that are called bio boxes. Gotcha. So on the front One and starboard. On the starboard. Gotcha. One of them uh, seals a little bit better than the other to maintain the temperature of the water on the inside. Mm -hmm. So we reserve that one for collecting. Okay, you know how to do box out? I do. Okay, can you do box out? Please? out? We'll yes. just do halfway. All right. Just keep going, keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. And a bit more. Okay. That's a Did you get some going, stills going, of that? There. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, does he fit? Yeah, it does. Echo. <laughs> awesome. That's in box echo. You can close the box, please. All right. Sample tray going in. Yay. Fantastic. Close nice. It all the way. All yep. right. Yeah. Uh, Andrea and, and Dan would be proud of that rock sample <laughs> based on last cruise. <laughs> Good job, team. Yeah, thank you for that. All right. Do we know if Andrea has been joining in the chats? Um, I haven't seen Perfect. her yet, um, but we have many of our other geologist colleagues joining us. Okay, would you like another ship move now? Uh, good question. Where are we? Where are um, we? Yeah, let's put in another ship move to the southwest, please. Roger that. Bridge nav. Um, another move, five zero meters, bearing two zero zero, please. Thank you. Come back. Come on. Yep, pass them to the background. <coughs> so it actually, I'm. Maybe the density is a little bit different here. Surprisingly, maybe a little less in terms of some of the bigger sponges and corals we were seeing on the other side, which is interesting given the current difference. But currents are a ephemeral phenomenon, so maybe we're, doesn't Can mean. Can I see craft arm again, please? So we're gonna need to drop a weight plate, but there's a lot of life here. So I'm going to try to find a bare spot to place it down. Okay. It's not squishing anyone. That sounds like a good plan. And a lot of this uh, browner material is actually just like sediment covered sponges that are maybe not healthy. <laughs> um, so if we're really desperate for a space to put it down. And the brown ones are dead. Yeah, maybe not quite dead yet, but. Soon to be. Soon to be. What about on top of this thing right here? Oh, yeah, the boulder? Yeah, the one just behind the lasers now. Yeah. That looks like a nice, clean spot. Okay. So for our audience at home, that if anybody's new to ROV dives, um, we need to keep our vehicles buoyant <laughs> in the right uh, conditions so that they don't want to sink or rise up. So we come down with a couple of um, the steel plates that we can uh, remove from the vehicle to compensate for heavy things that we might be picking up. And so these are plain old rusty steel with natural fiber ropes that will degrade over time uh, so that we're not leaving permanent debris on the seafloor. These will, the, the steel will rust, the rope will degrade. Okay, and we are good to go. Nice. Oh, someone's wondering how long our dive is today, about 12 hours? Mm -hmm. that was we the we started at noon and we will be uh, coming off bottom sometime around uh, 10 p.m. our time, so in about six hours. So about six hours. Um, okay, front porch on the bubble cam, please. Yes, sir. Wonderful.
So what letter did everybody pick of Steve's gift? Oh, I haven't. Did you already take one? I have not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only two letters. So. Only two left. How many did you guys take? No, no, no. I mean, there's <laughs> only two choices. X, it's like X a tic-tac-toe situation. Yeah. It's also a mixture of, I think, milk and dark chocolate. There is, yes. Oh, oh. man. Did you guys not notice that? Oh, oh, I, I, yeah. How did you Wait, know? it's a mix of what? You look at it's it. It's yummy. <laughs> I'm telling you. You could tell? Yeah. I, you're, you got more light over there. Yeah, you're that's the true. Dark over here. I got this like red dark chocolate highlighter up above my head. <laughs> dark chocolate highlighter. Uh, <laughs> Shelby, I'm curious where our audience is joining us from right now. Can yes. you tell us? Absolutely. Let's see where people are. Um, good amount of folks from Canada right now, Australia. Yeah, Canada. <laughs> Rep Canada, uh, United Kingdom. We got some folks from Norway. Hi over there to Norway. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Japan, Malaysia, Portugal. A Hello. lot of folks joining us. That's Thanks great. for tuning in. Yeah, if anybody has questions, feel free to use the, uh, I don't know what it's called, submit a question box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you go to nautiluslive.org, everyone, um, you can just scroll to the bottom and there will be a place for you to submit questions. It should be green and it should say available for questions. Oh, just a reminder what those weight plates I'm are cool made out that. of. Yep. Just iron? What? Yeah. Steel? Well, one, one second, Shelby. Um, uh, Trevor? Hello. Hi. Uh, so one of our scientists ashore, Chris Kelly. Hello. Hi, Chris. Um, if we see some of the sponges that look like a bowl that uh, with kind of brownish filaments on the outside, brownish hair, we might want to take a closer look. Roger that. See if we can identify the species. Any size is fine? Um, We're just looking for the big boy. It doesn't have to be big, just okay. the shape of a bowl. Understood. I'll keep my eye out. Maybe uh, this might be one over here. Ooh. Oh. I might call that a goblet. Hmm, goblet sponge. Uh, I don't think Chris can see what I'm writing on the Telestrator, but maybe he can. Uh... Do we have the, the Telestrator lasers. on channel one? We do. OK, great. Just a bit right of center there. I'm not sure if that's what we want, but... Go ahead and zoom, Steve. It doesn't hurt to have a look. Oh, there's a, someone living it. I see the oh. brown hairs, yep. Oh, and there's uh -huh. definitely something in it. Squat lobster, maybe? Doom, 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 doom. All right, we're waiting for Chris to let us not know if this is the one. kind of thing. So okay, Chris, not this one. Not that okay, coming one. wide, please. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of catching up here. Yep, that sounds fine. We'll, uh, How, what are our ship's move speeds now? Uh, 0 0.2 knots. OK. Oh, look at that sea star there. So the next time we stop for a sample, could you please give me a DVL reset? I'm not going to stay still for a little bit here, but once I'm staying still, Thank you. Somebody's wondering, um, maybe a guess of how many coral species are in this area right now? Anybody well, want to take a guess? At least three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least three is a, a good <laughs> conservative <laughs> guess. <laughs> Very safe answer. From the front row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, demo sponge. Chris, I'm looking through the uh, animal guide here to see if I can identify what you're what you're interested in. Where is Chris's wish list? Okay, yeah. 
Uh, Ryan, you have our wish list printout. If you know what we're looking for, let me know. Ryan says, I saw what Chris is referring to, and he's on the lookout as well. So we've got a few people scouting at this moment. Great. All hands looking for the bowl sponge. Hey, Chris, last night we implemented the sign the back of the board if you get skunked policy. <laughs> I think you'll, you'll like to know that. It's called the skunk yard. Skunk yard, it's yeah. It's called the skunk yard, yes. I uh, got to be one of the first signers. <laughs> Is that a privilege? Absolutely. Okay. I, well, I don't know what getting skunked means. It, it means, means you, you lost badly. Okay, at gotcha. Privilege. Oh, okay. Okay, on top Thank of this you. rock. Oh, okay, Trevor, can you pa just pause a second? Pausing. Uh, right here, is this what we're talking about? Is this a dead one? I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a gander. Oops, a little too fast there. I'm gonna get ready for a nice close up here. Okay. I'm okay, gonna Steve, zoom in please. Circle it again. Is Chris? Is that catcher's mitt? Is that what you want? <laughs> Just passed it on the left. I don't on the know left. How much of a delay that was, but okay. Left further back. Ooh, well, we don't okay. have a lot of time to go back, but I'll see what I can do. Okay. Do you want me to hold position? Oh, might be this one. Yeah, Maybe ah, this that one. guy up on the boulder. Yes. Yeah. Hold position, please, Nav. Bridge, Nav. There's some of the leftover twine from our weight drop. Yep. Ryan says, hold yes, position there it is. here, please. Thank you. Are we going to be sampling this or just observing? Potentially sampling. Chris, Zoom in, please. Is, Chris said it was a collectible. Oh. That is Whoa. fuzzy. Oh, wow. That is oh. That looks like a hat. I know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fur traders now or what? Very cool. And look at the holes in the Oops. basalt. Are those yeah. holes? What are those? I don't know. Okay. Don't focus on the rocks, Beth. Focus on the animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna scooch wide. Um, wider. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone in Bridgerton has a hat like this. <laughs> um, Chris, please let us know. Okay, yes, Chris would like a sample of this uh, okay. specimen, please. All uh, right. If we can, do we? Are we okay what with? What the heck? What could go wrong? Ship's movement. A little wider. Yeah, thanks. Do you want a craft arm view? Uh, not yet. Okay. Trevor, that's going to be uh, starboard bio box C. Charlie, Roger. Sure. Uh, stand by on the DVL. Let me make sure I'm stable first. All right. Ooh, Thank you, Chris up. and Ryan, for Come on back now. spotting what we needed. Is this going to work? Let's find out. Can it stay? Come on. Um, we're getting a comment that I guess the last time we okay, saw crop time now, please. Okay. this particular and you're good for a reset. animal, yes. we don't yet know what it is. It had an association with these purple uh, in, stolonifera. Please. And make sure you keep me in view in whatever way that looks. Okay, we'll do. Sorry, that was a comment to uh, Ashton. Roger. But the uh, zoom was like right on top of you here. Yeah. see a shadow. Very cool. Boo -doop. Boo -doop. Boo -doop. Am I just taking a snip of the whole thing? Uh, Chris asked, can you get a piece of the whole wall inside and out with the hairs too? So I guess uh, it doesn't have to be the whole thing, but we want to have both the, w the lighter brown and the darker brown. Okay, I'll see if I can go right here maybe. Do we know what that purple, I guess, organism or Those are attached? stolonifera. Oh, nice. Yeah, so... Oh, I'm on the rock now, rats. Come on, work with me here. Ooh. Nice. That's really dense, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Is it going to snip or is it going to pull off? I think we're pulling off. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm full, it's full okay. squeeze now, full snip. 
Oh, no, here we go. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay, wow, that's a Whoa. Wow. nice save. Come it's wide, like a, please, Steve. It's like a puffball mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, how are we doing here? Okay. You can come down in Delta a little bit, please. Ashton? Yes. Down in Delta. Down in Delta. Video while so, Trevor nope. is Winch. occupied Winch. Gotcha. with the uh, bio box. Um, I would like to get a, a closer bit. zoom yeah, of 14, that we'll do. hole to uh, the left side of the animal we just closer. Okay. okay, open the box, please. All right, opening the box. Starboard bio box. Starboard box, sample tray, yep. Yeah, that's definitely a hole. We're going to go into Charlie. It's like a granite Keep core. going, oh, keep okay. going, keep going. Looking for Charlie. There it is. Oh, maybe it's not. What is that? What oh, is the someone's changed these joint limits. What kind of joker? <laughs> <laughs> um, video, while we're zoomed in, uh, Actually, getting a zoom in of the inside of this animal that we just sampled is also of interest. Okay, close the box, please. That's in Charlie. I think all I've right, a few closing the box. Of that. I don't know if you have the ability to pan. Uh, nope, that's okay. all. Uh, that's all, right. Trevor. Yep. yep, it's okay. I think I got a few shots of that, Beth. Okay, great. Ooh, look at that tether. Uh, come Chris down and Kelly Delta, please. Coming in yeah, saying I'm worried it's a about the twist. First time I've yeah, ever seen altitude? these innards. Okay, it is. Come down and Delta, please. Fourteen, coming down. Yeah. We're getting some commentary measure. that this sponge kind of looks like a beard. <laughs> Could replace. Okay, take a quick grab there, and I'm going to go. Yeah, you're you, One, this two, is three, great. go. Come wide, please, Steve. Come wide. Great job, team. Fantastic. Okay, stay at that delta for now, please. I will. And close the box all the way. Okay. All right. Yay, okay. we got a demo sponge. Nice. Okay, come up in Delta now. Okay, come there up. There we go, that came out. Nice. That's good, thank you. How many samples have we taken so far on this particular uh, dive? Let me Are we ready fill for in a few step? things and I'll give you a count. And there. please spin thank you very much. Uh, starboard. And then did we drop a sample yes. number? We sure did. Yeah, we did. did. Okay. Coming up in that Delta. Shelby, we have taken Roger. seven samples Lost so far. my picture of you, yeah. but yeah. we'll get that box. back. And you keep spinning to starboard, I'll do this one. Okay, are you? I'm not ready. Yeah, one second, we'll let them get figured out, and then we'll figure out what we're doing. You're gonna probably need to look uh, 210. So rocks. 210, thank you. Two that yeah, we want so I'm to looking at Rob now for that. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what angle you'll Volcanic. need to be to actually see me. Oh, cool, thank Maybe. you. Good idea. Microbes. All right, I've got that delta depth coming around at 210. And I should see you. Any second now, there's the light. Any minute. Right. There we go. Let's get that tether in view too, make sure it's looking happy before we continue on. Okay. Oh, I gotta turn my thruster on. That's why I'm all shaky. That's better. Two vertical thrusters is way better than just one. All right, you can keep looking to starboard and see if you can find that tether. All right. There it is. That looks We're looking very good. Happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Let's keep that. Uh, let's see. Hold on one sec. Let me try one more thing. Mm, look at that fun thing. Keep a constant depth there. I'll just, I'll just, might change the delta a bit, but that's okay. Okay, I'll stay at 15. Or just stay at that payout. Okay. That's looking a lot better. Okay, what were we at before? You came to starboard. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's, uh, let's keep that up. Cool, I'm ready to go. Okay, back row, you ready for a move? Yeah, we can go ahead and put a ship's move in. What you're drawing looks great, and we'll just probably come around in the heading on Herc. Okay. But I think we're good. Bridge, nav. Can we get a move of five zero meters, bearing one nine zero, please? Thank you. So anybody new to uh, watching Nautilus Live, if you're on the page and you're looking in the quad view, you've got Oops. four different screens. Oops. We've got uh, in 
Channel 1, you're seeing the camera view from ROV Hercules, which is closest to the seafloor. In Channel 2, you're seeing the view from ROV Atalanta. Just your auto heading off. Which is and back on. up above ROV Hercules, looking down on us. Bring it around to starboard. I don't know. You'll see the ROV come back into frame Not in sure. a moment. And then channel three, you can see a map view of the location of the ship and Hercules right. as we move up this seamount. Can we recap for the folks who want to know um, exactly what we're looking for out here? We know we're looking for rocks, but how many times do we get opportunities to collect um, cool things like the sponge we just found? I will answer that question in just a moment. Um, Trevor, off to our right, I think, we had seen a little anemone. Yes, I think this is what our scientists ashore are interested in. If we could just have a zoom on that. Yeah, sure thing. Let's look a little more stable now. You can center me up in frame, please. Will do. All right, Steven, you can zoom in, please. Not sure if this is what we were asked about, but it's pretty to look at nonetheless. It is. It's beautiful color. Like, is it a wrinkled edge like a pie crust, or is there five separate little <laughs> things there? <laughs> what am I looking at? Yeah, it do, I think it, it's just different parts. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Actinostolid. I think is what we're, our scientists are, sh are in the lounge or helping us identify. Okay, that's great. Uh, I think we can zoom out okay. and uh, keep moving. Thank you, Steve. Actinostolid. As a person who studies microbes that live on rocks, I am very thankful for all of the animal scientists who are helping us with identifications, uh, bring in their expertise. Oh wow, look at the crack in that rock. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Some, I, I, w will. I wish we could pick that up, but <laughs> we can't. I will look at that crack in that rock. <laughs> Can you zoom in please, Steve? I mean, it's not a crack, it's this Black. I think it's an animal of some kind. Are you looking at the one going up to the left of the screen, or where are you looking? Mm. I, this like black. Yeah, it's a crack. Material. I think it's a crack. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a crack. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's more of that wispy stuff. Yeah. yeah How does a rock style. crack like that, sub C, Beth? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know when it when it cracked, if it was just sitting here like this, or it looks to me like a boulder that has fallen from somewhere. So it may have just cracked on its way down. Coming wide. Is it a sure. small boulder that looks like a large boulder? <laughs> <laughs> it is a small boulder the size of a large boulder. Did I see a paragorgia <laughs> on the backside there? On the backside of the boulder? Yeah, just a wee little one. I, I might have missed it. We have time, I still can look. That would be the first one I've seen this dive so far. Look at the, it's, it is a beautiful rock. Yeah, it yeah, is. What's this little mm. pink thing here? Oh yeah, there it is. Can you zoom in on the pink thing, please? Yeah, it almost looks like a small bubblegum coral. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. The little <laughs> nubbins. <laughs> but wow, look at the vesicles in that rock. <laughs> look at that. So what much, is best, So study? much gas in this rock. <laughs> Uh, okay, come wide, please. Yeah, great. Thanks. Ryan says, yep, that's a bubblegum coral. <coughs> nice. Annabelle, did you make your bubblegum coral TikTok yet? No, not yet. Still taking ideas. <laughs> uh, okay, Shelby, you had asked a question earlier, and I didn't get a chance to answer it. What was it? Oh, um, okay. uh, people are just wondering, recapping us on what exactly we're looking for down here, and mm -hmm. maybe um, how often do we actually get um, time to collect some of those more opportunistic samples, like that coral that we just snipped? Yeah, great question. So 
The purpose of this expedition is to explore underwater <coughs> uh, ancient volcanoes and volcanic features uh, in this part of the, the world. The world. <laughs> <laughs> um, particularly in the within the boundary of the Papahanaumoa Kuakea Marine National Monument. Uh, however, today we're uh, prevented from diving within the monument because the weather is really bad yep. uh, further south. So um, we followed the line of seamounts uh, out of the boundary of the monument to uh, where we think these two seamounts of the Lilio Kalani Ridge kind of intersect. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're diving today. Steve, zoom if you, oh, no, zoom if you can, maybe. Yeah, look at that feisty little one. We've seen a lot of them today. Things? We've seen a lot of a fish. Lot. Porch light. Um, which, ah, uh, compared on, to man. our previous dive, we're a lot shallower, mm -hmm. so more likely to enter. Wow, that's a fast one. I know. He is He's whipping speedy. along. Come on back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, we're exploring these seamounts, mm -hmm. um, and our purposes ah. are multifold. Ah. One Give is we want to understand the origin the of size. these volcanic features. Right. We think oh, they're quite a bit older than the, um, the age of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, mm -hmm. um, which were formed up to about 40 million years ago. We think these are maybe a couple tens of millions of years older. Um, but we don't really know. Okay. So collecting rock samples helps us um, figure out its origin. Do you want to take another step? Uh, good question, Nav. Uh, let's get right up into the center of this uh, elongated oval feature. OK. So I don't know that's like very much of a step. Steve, could you zoom on this fish when you get it when it's lined up properly, whenever you think? Follow your heart. Now oh, there's another looks like bridge. Maybe a this paragorgia. is Nav. Can we take a step of four zero meters, bearing two two zero, please? Thank you. All right. So um, this is a paragorgia. The coral. I, th I think so. I can't really tell. Um, so we're picking up rocks when we can. Um, we're also trying to understand the animal diversity on oh, these right. underwater you. mountains. Um, and there's a great diversity of animals on this uh, yep. ridge compared to where we were on our first dive. Lots of corals, lots of sponges. Uh, we've seen many different fish. Um, uh, we don't, our animal sampling is usually to get uh, specimens of things that we think might be a new species or that have confusing taxonomy. And so we want to try to get a few more samples to help understand what they are. Or if we think it's maybe a new geographic hmm. location of a species that's known. Um, yeah, we've seen these uh, orange anemones a couple times on this dive. Mm -hmm. We have a good chance to zoom in on this wispy stuff if we still don't know what it is. Let's is, that, is that useful? Yeah, it can't hurt. Yeah. Okay. And Chris, a lot of people are wondering what it is, too. Yeah, and Chris has said he doesn't know. Okay, come down in Delta a little bit. And please. I will right. never turn down, down a chance Probably to zoom in on 13, rocks. 14. <laughs> I want to say it's something from eggs that were laid that's, there. That's something. how I feel, too, yeah. Okay, zoom in, please. Mm, we got an urchin off to the left, also. That's full zoom. Ah, it looks so similar to cobwebs. Yeah, so it almost looks yes. like, you know, debris from something else that was sloughed off. I'm going to try panning left. Look we'll at all these tiny, goes. tiny little Ooh, polyps yeah. on hot. the rock as well. You can that see one fast. here, one over here. Oh, tiny, tiny those, little yeah. polyps. Look um, at the sponge behind her. It's cool yeah. Too. And wow. Trevor, if, or, um, Video, if you were to zoom out a little bit, there's an urchin just off to our left that looked like it was walking. I would like yeah. to get a little video of that. Do you still see it? It's, it was it's just off to our left. left. Oh, yeah. That one. Want there me to scoot over? How about, how about I do this? All right, Steve, give her all you got. Yeah, so you can see its little tube feet moving. Oh, the one in the crack. Oh, yeah. 
That is what, are you talking about the white one or the I'm red I'm talking one? about the white one. Okay. Yeah. I don't know oh, what Oh, it does the, have two feet. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Those are really tiny. Yeah, so if you, <laughs> it's not moving fast. <laughs> you got to watch closely. You gotta, there you they really are. You really do. Yeah. But they're, they're moving. Lower left of the Gonna ocean. Need an instant replay on this action. Chris Kelly coming in said I think it could be an echnid. Could also be a pedonid. And still lots of lots of little polyps. So that's the fun part of sitting down is you get to see all the small scale stuff, things that are colonizing um, these rock surfaces. They love those little gas pockets, don't they? Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> so cozy. Nice you can come up on Delta yeah. now, please. OK, uh, thanks for that great video. Thank you. And set up and we can keep moving. OK, do you want to continue to the next Next waypoint. Yeah, could you zoom in on high pack just a little bit, please, Lynette? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we'll be coming down the, from this feature into another saddle. And so I'm wondering if we, because we're, I think, a little ahead of schedule, right? We only have eight, po eight waypoints, is that right? That's correct. Um, so I'm wondering if we want to maybe come down again on the west side and towards waypoint five, just so we can again see what's on that western side. Okay, somewhere west like side. over here? Yeah. Sure, yeah, that looks like a good, good okay. option. Okay. Might require flying backwards a little bit, Trevor. I'm not sure how you want to do that or just look oh, into the uh, side. We'll see how it goes, yeah. I'm trying to find you as well. Yeah, I just wandered off. Let me just come back to the, the right way. Okay. I went north instead of south because there was pretty things. <laughs> I'm a sucker for pretty things. What can I say? Pretty shiny. Okay. Yeah, we've had so hurt? much color on this dive. Absolutely. Well, Are you ready for yellows? step? Sure. Beth, someone's wondering maybe like how long it takes there for those are. rocks to get encrusted with the uh, what is it ferromanganese that you said? Yeah, well we haven't actually seen a lot of evidence of much ferromanganese crust forming on these rocks, interestingly. Um, you know, you saw those rocks that looked like they had been broken open mm -hmm. um, and they didn't look very altered at all. Val chiming in saying nice talus. Yeah. Um, Val, let us know if you want us to try to sit down and pick anything up while we're on this, uh, in this Talos area. Talos, I guess. I always say it wrong. Is Talos wrong? I think, I hear people say it both ways. <laughs> I think <laughs> Talos is the right way. Tulus. Probably not Uh, Tulis. Val says, yeah, let's grab one here if that's possible. Sure is. Yeah, we had just put in a ship's move, so we're, we're still pretty good. We can maybe pause let's on that. Let's pause the ship pause. move, yeah. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can you hold right here, please? I'll get a little more ahead to make up for what is about to be the little bit of a ship move. Thank you. And then you're tilting up again. Can you tilt down, please? Val, yes. do you have any oh particulars yeah, that you're looking away, at? It? it does, yeah. Sorry, what was the question? Me? I don't know. I thought someone said my name. Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> oh, maybe I did ask a question. Huh, let me go back to the question I asked. Uh, do you see a rock you like? Um, uh, is this where we want to, where we think we might sit down? Uh, yeah, I'd like to do this fun floating because there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Squishable things, so I'm going to try to not squish them. Yeah, so um, if you could maybe uh, um, pan right and left just so I can get an idea of what we're, we have around us. Yeah, right is preferred. It's slightly upslope. Yeah, it looked like there were some good loose pieces on that side too. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't know that one. That's probably too big, considering they were off the bottom. Yeah. Let's see if. How but about, maybe like how about what about this, this? These ones, like right in this zone with the lasers, just above the lasers, maybe. Are those too? Yeah. Small? Those 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 could work like that one. Okay. Yeah. Angular is what we're looking for. Angular. All ah, right. Okay. Well, how about the one the lasers are on, right? Now, is it angular enough? Mm. I, th I think oh, that one might be still too big. Yeah, Val says yes. 
Okay. So I think that was this one right here? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Great. Okay, can I see craft arm, please? Craft arm. Trevor, that's going to go in starboard bio box D. Delta. Is, is going to work? Oop, that's the wrong button. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to be down lower. Not that low. Whee! Easy does it now. Confirming this one. Confirming. Yeah. Come on, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. There we go. All right. A little glamour shot, please. Okay, zoom in, please. Oh, we love the glam shots. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, smooth and shiny. Oh, it is smooth is that and what shiny. we want? That and doesn't look rusty. like what we want. Well, it might be good for me. That I don't know if it's what nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that what we want then? Yeah. That okay, is what great. we want. Come wide, please. Kay. Is that sticker on the manipulator new? I don't remember when that was on. Okay, let's see here. How are we doing? Uh, when was the last time we collected an eDNA sample, Diane? Uh, that was quite a while ago. I can look for the timing. Okay, Would ready like on the box, one? please. Ready on the box. And the vertical thruster is secure, so you should be clear to open it. Okay. Go ahead. Opening it up. Which box are you aiming for? I'm going for Delta. Way in the back. What's the importance of gathering angular rocks versus other shaped rocks? Um, okay, there's a couple different taken. things right. that we might be. Okay, uh, box closed, please. Angular rocks sometimes indicate that they have broken off recently, mm. and so they might indicate uh, a sample that still has material that hasn't been altered yet because it hasn't been exposed to seawater. Nice. Uh, some types of volcanic rock formation. Um, especially when you have intrusive uh, igneous processes mm -hmm. and the way that the rock crystallizes also can create angular structure. Um, and so that can also preserve, it cools slower. All right, nice. Because it doesn't come out into the seafloor under this cold water. Mm -hmm. And so it might have more crystals on the inside nice. that are great targets for some of the work that needs so to be done. Awesome. We have not taken an eDNA or a water sample for over an hour and a half. So <gasps> that was closer to... Okay. Yeah. So before we... Waypoint two. Before we go, I'll take a Niskin. Yes. Thank please. you. You can you that can, is, you can do the move. Yeah, that's fine. That is going to be Niskin three, please. Niskin, Niskin three. three. By the time I see it, it'll be it'll be done. It shall be done. Trevor, somebody wanted to shout out your um, amazing ROV skills. So thank there you. you go. Hello. <laughs> the best. Uh, Niskin number three. Steven's light, also please. doing a really great job on video. Porch light. It's his birthday. I think you it's blue. Make him feel special. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I can't Fancy. see those numbers. Probably this one. Let's just guess that it's this one. Okay, it's taken. I'll try to also unfloss it. There we go. Okay. Thank you all. You can secure porch light. Did it get triggered? You betcha. Okay. I couldn't, I didn't see it quick enough. You betcha. Okay. And here we go. I really should write down what colors are what numbers. That would be very handy. <laughs> Was that a hand joke? Was that a craft arm joke? What? <laughs> it would be handy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but now it is. 
I'm also going to draw a map of these picture-in-picture uh, -picture situations. Oh, I thought there was one of those. There yeah. was one of those on the wall there. Yeah, that's, for what, I, yeah, that's what I was talking about totally. uh, earlier. But it might be in this pile of documents. Okay. Well, I figured it out. Nobody else is going to know, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So sonar's in 10. Oh, Which Ipo? Okay. Did you get some yep. of these? That's why I want to draw it out. I guarantee Ed's got a drawing of it. Yeah, I know it exists. Someone's wondering if the ROV pilots are able to fly IFR. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> Whoa, Ash is the one to answer Ooh. this question. <laughs> um, when the camera went out the other day, we were definitely <laughs> IFR. That's instrument, instrument flight rules for any aviators out there. But no, we prefer to see underwater. <laughs> I remember I heard someone talk about driving Navy submarines before. They were saying, it's like driving a car with all the windows blacked out, <laughs> and all you have is a compass, a speedometer, a map, and a stopwatch. It's like, oh my gosh, I <laughs> no thank you. That sounds stressful. Oh, totally, yeah. Very what about sonar? A lot of times they don't have them on because it's noisy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, at least there are fewer cars uh, on the road down there. <laughs> There are this fewer cars, that's this true. true. Meanwhile, here we are with 748 cameras and 16 sonars, and that's not true at all, but we have lots of instrumentation to tell us where we are. All of it bright, loud, and noisy. Someone the other day was describing uh, being an ROV pilot as flying a simulator, except what's on the other end is real, because there's <laughs> no haptic feedback. You kind of forget that there is actually a giant ROV. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I hadn't heard mm -hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a real simulator. That's <laughs> <laughs> huh. a yeah. What do you what do you call that? <laughs> it's a reality reality. <laughs> or is it a simulated simulator? <laughs> I guess we'll oh, we got know. another fish coming Fish, there we view. go. Steve, if you feel you can, go ahead and zoom. Shark, maybe? Yep. Bye. <laughs> it's called the Ooh. see ya shark. <laughs> That's great. In one of the interactions earlier, there was... Um, a kid who was asking if we've ever discovered any unknown species of shark. Does anyone know? I don't know. I also did not know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave him alone now. Bye. There's a joke coming in from s for the front row from oh, no. Steve. To the best of my knowledge, only Nautilus has cameras that can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> future winch. Dun dun. All right, we got a name on that Centrocilium mangrub. Thanks, Chris. All right. Hey. Hi. For our audience at home, it's going to get a little uh, crazy with names soon and voices because it's our dinner watch coming in to relieve us. We'll come back and join you in uh, 15 minutes or so. Hey. I was just about to ask for a DVL reset. I just stopped here, so I get, may, might want to wait a couple, couple three pings. Do you want to do it now? Sure, what the heck? Set Jess up for success. Cool beans. All right. Doodle We're switching out, but we will do some intros of the four o'clock watch when I get back from dinner.
Someone's wondering if we've seen any octopus. I don't think on this dive, no, not yet. But maybe, we have seen a couple of Dumbo octopus in the past, so maybe they'll come around again. All right, so what's been going on? We got a scoop as to where we're going there. Okay, uh, I think they would like us to go, uh, say, uh, 10 meter towards uh, 230. 230, Raj. Hey, do you guys mind looking up at that wiggly Once thing? Once you're ready, we will. The fish? Just to confirm with the back row. Oops, there it is. Uh, it just looks like a fish, I think. Yeah. So, would you like to proceed more to this way and then I'll wait for Val I I heard you'd like to go somewhere here at the beginning and then we go down uh, yeah that sounds like an excellent plan okay. See what, uh, how things continue as we move on to the saddle okay so we'll move just 10 meters to 30 Bridge, this is enough. Uh, can we move the ship on bearing two three zero ten meters, please? Affirmative, thank you. Is it tight? the striations on the rock oh on yeah. in the brow cam. That's oh cool. yeah. That is cool. Yeah, those are neat. That's different. Did did we ever did they ever come to a consensus on what the webby thing was? No, we still don't know. It looks Pretty like there's something behind crazy. it. Crazy. Oh, that one down there, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a peek. Go ahead and push on in there, please. Nice. You want to come a little wide, and I'll get you, get you a better shot there. Crab. Perfect. A little crab in there. Oh, look at that. That flow pattern's cool. Mm -hmm. Hiding. Can you come a little wide, please? It seems fitting. They're kind of like the crabs of the ocean. Or, I mean, the spiders of the ocean. <laughs> They're very much like the crabs of the ocean. They are very much, <laughs> very much like the crabs of the ocean. <laughs> exactly like the crabs of the ocean. <clears throat> it's a fun shot. In case the internet cares, we just had a bunch of churros. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> Somebody so was asking honey. what was for dinner, so I guess that was dessert. That that churros was were our that midday was snack. snack. With a little bit of cinnamon. And they will also be my dessert. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good life decision. Yeah. I'm having a <clears throat> blood sugar dip, I think. <laughs> 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 I really cranked it up there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of those fish. Rhett, are we able to change satellite feed three to the control room to give folks a view of the control room in here just for a second? Then we can switch back later. Sure can. Thanks. So the next move will be 180. 180, Raj. Raj, Raj. Keep moving. Yes, please. Yeah. Raj, oh. this is Nav. Can we get the next uh, move on bearing 180? Uh, there's no, there's no winning with this shot. Sorry, Rhett. 50 meters, Sorry. please. And it looked like while you, we were gone, y'all got one nice angular rock sample. Make the speed point two of a knot. I got two. One oh. of them very large, and also another sponge. Oh, yes, and the sponge. That's oh, right, I heard floaty bit. I heard floaty bits were in the starboard bio. Yeah, so you put them there. More floaty bits. Oh, Raj. More, <laughs> more bits to float. <laughs> How many 
bits equals a bite. That looks like another... <laughs> oh, <Kumba>. a halosaur? <laughs> the fish that down looks there? so narrow. A kumba? I think it's the kumbo. Do you guys want to zoom on it, or is, is it just for... I just think we're just commenting. Yeah, I just think practice. it is a kumba. Just practice. <laughs> Add to that. I gotta say, there have been a lot of fish. Yeah, they really have. What's the name of the one we keep seeing? It's kind of slender silver with the big black eyes. That's the kumba. Ooh, nice. There's another one that looks kind of like it, but it has a very narrow lizardy face. The mm. halosaur. I think that, that one's like really cool. Nice sphere around the thing. Are those polyps like around the, the thing? The sphere hey, that... around the thing. <laughs> hey, there's well, another one. This is another one of those. Yes. Yes. Is this one? That's yes. a rosellid sponge. That's what you guys sample. So the outer rim of that is... Uh, Go ahead and fish on in there, please. Fur or tentacles or I think dust? Think I sedimentation, fur. maybe? I don't know. I don't a vacuum. It's weird that, that that, like, this type of sponge in particular will, like, have, always have that on it while the others manage to stay sediment free so i don't know what that is wow so now, the the spiky bits coming off um mm -hmm. what would be the right word to call those specules specules yes. oh, wide, please many there's, specules there's Raj. so much going on in just in that one shot yeah val was pointing out that little chitiny thing over there too oh yeah on the rock there yeah specules I like all of, they're, they're like <laughs> entirely made up of spicules, but then those there are just some that poke out further. Oops. Generally, it's hard for me to remember science words <laughs> unless I <laughs> say it a bunch um, or come up with a fun, fun way to remember it. Uh, like Tina fours, I remembered by calling them Tina Turner Fours. <laughs> okay, wait, you need to be part of the TikTok that I'm gonna make with Annabelle because I was saying about my Chrysogorgia, how I'm like, Christ, you so gorgeous, is how I remember <laughs> that one. It's important, it's, it's, so I gotta come up with one for uh, uh, speculum? No, spe speculi, what's it called? Spe spectacles. Spectacles. Spe 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 Gosh darn, Raj. <laughs> just gonna throw a spicule in between in between all your rajas. And you'll There's another little crab spicule. down there. Oh, sorry. What, did you want to? Oh no, no, no. Also, I'm sorry. I'll, we're oh. fine. Okay, Raj. I just like to point out the critters when I see them. Oh, fair enough. There's many to point out. So, oh, point away. That might have been. That might have been a Tina Four. Oh, oh Kylie's like Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina Turner, Turner 4. <laughs> so, just let me elaborate on this. Uh, I have a costume that I'm making for Halloween. I got the fabric. The fabric, like, so Tina 4s are, like, sort of, like, jellies that, like, reflect, like, rainbow colors as, like, the light. They're translucent, but they also reflect um, back. And I have this amazing um, fabric I found. So you know how Tina Turner has like the black dress, jean jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have like a black fabric that reflects like rainbow, oh. and it, oh, cool. I have a jean jacket. I just need to learn how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> Give me time. And then you'll be a Tina Turner for exactly. <laughs> First of all, Kylie, let's shout out to you preparing for Halloween this early because I love <laughs> doing it for two years. I am Doodle. slacking. <laughs> I am slacking. <laughs> It's yeah, I was in Goodwill the other day and I saw uh, a dress that looked exactly like Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. And oh. I was like, I know it's early and I don't actually want to own this dress right now. But I know, <laughs> I know that Halloween will be like tomorrow. And I'll be like, why have I not been planning? I should have yes. bought the Bubbles dress. <laughs> Absolutely. I should have bought the Bubbles dress. <laughs> Always buy the Bubbles dress. <laughs> Are you going to carry around like a microphone and stuff too with the, your outfit? Well, yeah, I, I just needed the wig, really. That's like the, <laughs> the sewing and the wig are the only things I, I need still. I see. Also, the internet is allowed to do renditions of the costume, but they cannot wear it to the same party as me. 
<laughs> Seems only like a good rule. Prereq. <laughs> oh, Someone's wondering if we're going to sample the sort of cobweb wispy stuff. I do not believe so, but we got a couple shots of it. Um, but maybe someone will one day. That would be interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of challenges that would be sampling yeah. wise. Or like if we have the right tools for that. Or even mm. how it would maybe react when you bring it to the surface because it seems so thin. Right. Like will right. it disintegrate? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there are, we've in the past um, slurped up microbial mats, which are also pretty like, you know, thin and wispy. Mm -hmm. And if you put on the slurp jar, if you put a mesh that's thin enough, mm -hmm. um, it won't get it won't get sucked all the way through. So if you didn't care about it being like perfectly intact, but just needed like some just of the mass of it, we could slurp it. Ooh. There's some more of it right there under this boulder. Oh, yeah. So where we have the lasers right now uh, has uh, the shape of a pretty decently sized pillow lava. Pillow Ooh, lava. I love yeah. that Finally. Name. They're not pillow as comfortable lava. as you might think. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for pillow our 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. shift, it will look too bad. Is that something Probably. about how they form, like, being up in the water column as they cool? Is there something to that? Am I making that up? Uh, yeah, so they're, like, kind of thin... Uh, finger, uh, relatively thin fingers of lava, uh, and as they flow, they they are constantly fighting, uh, being cooled by the uh, the seawater around them, and uh, the surfaces will kind of uh, uh, quench, mm -hmm. so that it cools really quickly. But there's still lava moving in the flow, so eventually the ends will um, uh, yeah. they they just can't yeah. hold that pressure anymore and just uh, uh, break through. You, and you get another toe of lava that kind of bubbles out, freezes, and, you know, rinse, repeat as it moves uh, down slope till either uh, flow stops or not. Mm -hmm. Does it seem even denser here? It is yeah, very it's denser. definitely got more yeah. of the acanthogorgids here than when we left. The yellow coral. Is that the bright yellow coral? The other yellow coral. Okay. The bright yellow coral is something that starts with an E that I can't pronounce. Oh, like the neon sort of looking one? Yes. yes. Yeah, the color variation here is awesome. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah. I don't think I was expecting to see this much variety of color this mm, deep. I think when you same. think of the deep, you think of very translucent white. Mm -hmm. So very nice to be surprised that yeah, it's, snap in the there, seamount is just so color. alive. That's cool. Oh, hey, hey like Squall Lobster. Uh -huh. Maybe. Wait, what Great. is it called? Well, I think oh, Squall yeah, Lobster. Yeah. Lobster. They're so pale. Squat they are. Lobster. It's not that it's a, a Galatheoidea. I think it's a Galatheid Squall Lobster. And then that is a Basket Star. Yeah. That, that whole thing? thing? That whole thing. That whole thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at cool. all those legs. That's like an art piece right there. It is. Yeah. Beauty. And there's another one of those uh, fuzzy corals. Oh, yeah. The whole wow, coral. that's like the third oh, one. Yes. That or sponge. Jeez. Sponge, yeah. Dirty sponge. <laughs> and another one up here. Wow. Yeah. So that looks like a fuzzy taco or like fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a pillow. That, like, yeah, yeah, yes. Or like a macaroon. Almost. <laughs> Hot dog bun. Hot dog bun. Or about. a really fresh loaf of rye bread or something. Oh. Yes. Yeah, sourdough. Sourdough. Sourdough, sourdough. Yeah. sourdough wins. <laughs> As you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of tell we haven't eaten yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow, there's another one right here. That's number That's five or six. That's a huge density of those. Wow. Yeah. So do they always have the spicules just around the sides um, and then not on the top? It depends on what sponge it is but the they'll have like an oh i always mix up the the osculum i think the osculum is the out current flow area and okay. so they'll have like a an opening there that doesn't have the same spicules sticking out sticking out the top where the current flows the water current they pull through their bodies flows outward i see do you mind if i answer that top one yeah, go for it we just got a question, is this site within a protected area? And we are actually outside the boundaries of Papahanaumokua Camry National Monument. So this is considered international waters. Oh, wow. Not by much, but 
Uh, we had to we had to run away from all the storms that were uh, keeping us out of the boundary. Very cool. Yeah, monument. And it's looking like they will probably keep us out of the monument for what the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. that's what it's sounding like. Mm -hmm. Storm-wise. So yeah, we had some uh, objectives that we wanted to do here, including this site uh, outside of the monument anyway. So um, we rearranged the uh, the dive scheduling in order to accommodate the weather. And then uh, once conditions become favorable to the south, uh, we'll start transiting back that way again. Start working our way back there. Because while we're up here, you know, we might as well uh, hit some of the other survey targets that we're interested in and. Uh, Hope that we can move uh, move south as the weather clears up. So yeah, yesterday we were getting tossed around pretty good topside. Yep. Was it? It. Yeah, and it was. It was a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> the only for seven. some of us more than others, I'll speak for myself. Yeah. <laughs> Not fun. Wow! Look, it just it just Who's goes on, on forever. I know. Who's on that sponge? <laughs> Yeah, well, that you? sponge has a buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> what if it's a basket? That would be so cool. Can we hey. get another move? Five zero meters, bearing one seven five. Yeah, thank I think you. You're, yeah. Think you're right. right. Go ahead it does look like a basket star. Yeah. Whoa, oh. that is nice. cool. I haven't seen a basket star on top of a sponge before. <laughs> no, that's like Beautiful. a little hairpiece. Yeah, so that wild. is awesome. These things are crazy looking. Inside that sponge looks like sacred geometry, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if architects ever study like the structure of like like a, a bio biological things. They do. I think they do. They yeah. do, and I think ones? sponges have actually been used before because the way that they structure themselves, like the the they're not oh, pr particularly like strong materials, I guess, but the the way that they structure it makes them really like, you know, they can support that whole structure against whatever current and against whatever the weight of, of that, the bulbous structure further up. Um, and so they've like actually looked to that and to the matrices that they naturally form for like architectural stability and strength. That is so cool. That's very it's basically cool. basically like a fractal. I would read a book that, on that. It's like a fractal that they're forming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had a question about whether there are any vents or seeps in this area. Not that we would expect. But you never know what you find. <laughs> yep. There you get some more basket stars on sponges, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Ton. And that one looks not so alive. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see that, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw nothing. <laughs> we saw nothing. We saw nothing. There was a lag in the video feed. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the flicker. The flicker is back. <laughs> Different vehicle, but yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. So these these volcanoes have been extinct for quite some time now. So we're not expecting to see any sort of active hydrothermal activity or anything else like that. So um, as as far as like volcanic vent structures, uh, we we don't know. Um, you know, we'll, um, we we just can't tell necessarily from the bathymetry alone. But um, we'll see what things look like closer to the end of the dive. And Jason wanted to know if this area is area that is leased for mining because we're outside of the monument area. Mm. I don't know who has don't know the answer that. to that question. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, think I don't know off the top of my head that International uh, Seabed Authority manages those leases. This is awfully close to the monument boundary, though, so I would be surprised. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I don't know. Well, it's really probably not super conducive <laughs> anyway. Don't worry oh, about that. They would be looking more for manganese crusts and nodules, ferromanganese nodules. Yeah, and so far <laughs> we're not seeing a whole lot of those around here. Thanks. But we're not really interested in the uh, economic potential in this area anyway. We're kind of here to answer some questions about uh, the biodiversity, uh, the geology, and um, you know some of the like some of the local chemistry that is controlling. Oh, uh, what's this back here? 
uh, how light, how and where life grows, and, like Ooh. where we get some of these deposits. Another chimera. Oh yeah. No, no, something nope. else. Mm. That's One yeah. I don't know what that on. is. It kind of looks like a chimera, but it's hard to. Go ahead and push on in there, but please. It looks almost more. Um, yeah, no. E it's e e the tail is weird. Yeah, I yeah. Think and the right. long spine on top. I gotta pull up the ID guide again. It's like a fan-shaped tail. Oh, and the crab. <laughs> oh yeah, sure enough. That crab sure does look like a spider, though. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in my bathroom. I oh, yeah. Get the a couple of crabs. That's, a, that's another squat lobster on the upper left, I think. Oh, sorry. A galaxy it. But that, I think below that, that, yeah, next yeah, to the fish. Another guy over here. Oh, yeah. And then Beautiful two shot. here. Yeah. For the viewers, yeah. two more down here. So. Yeah. Oh, well, and another oh, one just yeah. coming in from the left side of the screen. I imagine that fish probably is going for crustaceans. Right, let me see. You can stay All partially right. if you want there, Jeff. I feel like dinner. that yeah, one sure. Good. fin type thing on top has to be identified. Ah, so I've been hearing. Feature. All right. We're changing back over to the uh, regularly scheduled uh, uh, folks for this shift. So dinner time for uh, 12 to 4. All right. Full wide there, Jeff. Thank you. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, dude? Uh, the blue stuff? Yeah. Um, look at it. Let's look at it. Can't tell if it's a net. I think it's just debris. Go ahead and push on in there, please, Jeff. Like a line? Net. Yeah. Yeah. No fun. Okay. Human. Full wide. Yeah. We had a question about whether this uh, ecosystem can be considered healthy. Oh, yeah. It looks healthy. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Everybody's eating. Everybody's eating well. Oh my God, I mean, I'm not a scientist, but look at all the things. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, we just ate well in the galley. There was cake <laughs> for Stephen's birthday. Oh, I'm so hungry. Um, oh. But this community does look. Is it carrot cake? Yes. Oh yeah, I knew it would be. Healthy. <laughs> oh wow, we already whizzed There's by waypoint five. Cakes. The last, last trip I was on, all carrot. Mm. Carrot cake's my favorite. It's delicious. <laughs> but it's fun when it's a surprise. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's up on top of that rock? A sponge? Yeah, it looks like a sponge there. Do we want to do another move to the south or wait for the shift change? Uh, okay. Yeah, wait. Let's go ahead and wait for okay. a second. Yep. We're, we're going pretty fast. Would you like us to slow and kind of meander heading around some more? Yeah. Okay, let's meander. Andrew, Raj. There's so much to look at here. Very you true. Got and we got right. time. Roger that. Is um, the red guy octocoral? Lynette, would no. you mind zooming out on high pack just so I can see the full dive track down to waypoint eight? Yep. That is octocoral. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Yep. Hey, Jeff, you want to do a partial zoom there? We can just look at the coral community. Okay. That's Steve great. Steve yeah. Auskovich, what are you asking for? A rusty brown coral fan with white axis. All right. We'll have a look for that. Uh, Steve, is that what you were... F no, I don't think that's a coral. That's a sponge. Wow. Not a few... Like sort of like I gotta get my wish list out. All right, Jess, we're uh, if we see a rusty brown coral fan with a white axis, we might want to get some zoom shots of that. Roger that. Okay, pull wide, please. 
rusty brown coral, white axis. White axis, I don't know what that means. Uh, I think like a white stock, is that correct there, Ben? Yeah, cut in the center. Oh, Raj, okay. Rusty brown, white stock. It's like, where's Waldo? All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, now I've got, I don't see anything over here. There we go. No, oh, I can see his color. The back of that rock. Yeah. I don't know if any of our scientists ashore came up with a name for that fish we just saw a few hello, minutes hello? ago. Uh, one of our viewers right, suggested it. Back over. One of our viewers suggested it might be Moridae lepidon. All right, we've got another part of our shift watch going on. So we'll be hanging out for just a minute. There might be one ahead of us. Steve, if you're watching, is this what you're looking for? That brown fan in there? While we're getting set up with our new crew up in the front. in the rusty coral. Yeah, there might be one just in front yes. of us. Hold on one that second. Hold on one second. On that rock, they were asking Shore if, yeah. um, if can, that was towards one the bottom. Can you okay. zoom in on it just so we can see if that's yeah, what we're looking for? Yeah, let me get over there and then we'll do some zoomage. Zoomage. What is this going on? I don't need that. Might be a hydroid. <clears throat> Maybe it's the coral we're looking for. Oh, auto heading won't help me in this situation. Can you point out the coral again, please? Right here. All right. Might be that one. Super duper. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Zoomy, zoom, zoom, please, whoever's on video. Mm. Squat lobster. I'm not sure that that's what we want. <coughs> We can just hold here for a moment, please, while we're sure. waiting for our scientists ashore to let us know if this is what we're looking for. That's full zoom. Okay, so confirmation that this is a plexoard. Steve, is this something that we would want a sample of, or do we just want as good a zooms as we can get? One moment, front row. How much, um, all of our slurps are still available, correct? Our slurps are available. Slurp. Trevor, what do we think about trying to take a snip uh, come wide, please, of this uh, into one of the slurp chambers? It's probably fine. Um, It's very populated, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Indeed. 
Yeah, that'll be that'll be tricky, but let's see what I can do. Let's do some. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. Yeah, so two confirmations that this would be worth sampling. For our audience at home, Craft arm, please. Uh, what we think we're looking at is a type of uh, octocoral called a plexorid. So we're going to be taking a, a segment of this so that we can do specimen identification. Okay, Steve, just zoom in a little bit, please. I'm still floating, so it'll be pretty bouncy. How's that? That's great. That's super swell. How about right here? Is that enough? You want a little more? I gotta go down here. We're gonna get a star along with that. Yeah, we'll get the attachment, but that's okay. Just trying to floss in here a little bit. To come on. Hey, come on back, ROV. Where are you going? So, folks looking at the manipulator, we call these the coral cutters because they have that nice little spot right where the tape is to help us get a good clean snip. Okay, zoom in please, Steve. So right now all the polyps Look are beautiful and pulled in. Got at least three different attached. Okay, all the slurp jars are open, is that correct? All slurps are open. Let's try for number one. Oh my, what did I miss? Oh, we're, we're collecting a coral. Nice. Steve, could we get the slurp view into channel three? And then come wide two, please, Steve. Okay, so spare valve six is the suction, contrary to labels. Okay. Um, when I say the go word, which is going to be go, um, you can turn that on to start at 50%, please. All right, I am ready. Ooh, I hope that's not slightly Perfect. too big. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So for our audience at home, <coughs> instead of putting this sample into a box. Zoom in, please, Steve. On the side or the front. What we're doing is putting it in front of a hose. It's kind of like our vacuum cleaner of the sea. It, uh, it's going to create some suction and pull All that right, specimen into a chamber that you're seeing oh, in see. channel three. Okay, go ahead, 50%, please. All right, going up to 50. Okay, we're at 50%. Okay, let's stay there for now. Come on. Nope, doesn't like that. Okay, well, try this way. Oh, big old chunk there. Yeah, I'm not very happy with that. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get it going in that way. But we'll try. like that at all. Okay. It's vacuum suctioned on right now. Uh, let's see. If I can grab it here. And maybe I can... Can you go up to 70, please? Yes. We're at 70. Uh, no, come back. Yeah, if this doesn't seem like it's going to work, Trevor, we also have a space in a bio box we could try. This might be too stiff. Yeah. Uh, let's try. Can you stop the suction, please? Yes. It's at zero. Okay. What? No, because it'll crush it. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, I'm a little low, maybe. Okay. Let me try one more time. Okay, try uh, 70%, please. Okay, going up to 70. No, it's not going to go. No. It's going to stick to the edge. Zoom out a little bit, please, Steve. Don't drop it. Uh, ah. Come on, don't drop it. Uh. All right, sorry about the squishing this. 
<laughs> oh, man, that is not friendly. That is not playing ball. Okay, let's put it in the starboard bio box. Let's try that. Okay, section is off. Okay, I'm going to change some cameras around. <sighs> okay. Beth, can we add it to another sponge box? I think we can add it, yeah, where the sponge is because we're not combining sponge with sponge. So that's right. okay. Uh, Trevor, well, let's aim for box B. B is in Bravo, Roger. Yeah, there's that. another an, uh, sponge in there, but uh, yeah, B. Roger. I'll be ready Stand to cut by. out. Um, you get over top of it a bit first and then, okay, go ahead there, please. Okay, bio box coming out. And good there. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. B. Is there any more little dangly bits, or is that everything? I think that's everything. Okay, good. You can close the box. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Excellent. Mm. So many different things right in this frame of view. It's just really incredible. <coughs> box is closed. I can switch this around. And then, okay, that's reverse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coral, octocoral, gorgonian. Nope. Okay, you can turn uh, porch light off, please. All right. Ah. Okay. Okay. Good yeah. to go. We can go ahead right. and put that ship's move back in. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters? Bearing 170. Thank you. 170. Going that way. All right. All left. Someone's wondering how we all stay so calm when we're seeing such cool things. They are way too excited to sit still. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was holding my breath during that whole sample evolution, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. I'm also still digesting birthday cake. Oh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> we blame Steven. We thank Steven. I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. We're kind of moving in a little saddle, what looked like a saddle feature, but it still looks pretty, uh, pretty rugged here. Just chock a block with animals. Definitely time. Wow. So we're going to be going down slope ish. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Kind of side saddle slope thing. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, I see. Yep. Um, on the heading you're on, mm -hmm. yeah, if we maybe just want to look to our right a little bit as we're moving. Yeah, totally. Get some more ground visuals. Exactly. Yeah, you can kind of just maintain a, I guess a 270 heading almost. Hmm. 
Some lovely sponges coming into view here. Mm, maybe a Bolosoma species. Pull up my animal guide again. Yeah, I agree with that. I was looking at it, it looks pretty close. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah, definitely. I feel like one of the Holosomene species. Cool. <laughs> of course, I don't know any of the family or orders to find it in here, but that's okay. Oops. Ah, that tells me. Do stocked. Yeah, that's the one we want. Oh man, there's so many. <laughs> so how have we done for rocks tonight? Do we get any other big ones or just, just a couple small ones and the one big one? I don't think they collected any when we were gone. No, okay. so that means we've got three rocks for Val. And one for Beth, if we were keeping score. <laughs> <laughs> it is a contest, of course. Well, it's always going to be, I'm gonna always going to be in the losing position here. She's yeah. got way more slots for rock, rocks it's than I rock do. Slots. It is so. Um. Yeah, do it, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna, I guess that's a balsoma. There we go, it kind of looks like that one. Maybe it's a sacrocalyx. Sacrocalyx. Although that looks like a sacrocalyx there. That is one that they have seen before today. So. Yep. That little one. Mm hmm. Someone's wondering if seeing all of this really dense communities of corals and sponges would maybe even give an opportunity for the monument to be expanded to this part of the sea. Um, perhaps, I mean, it well, would take a lot, the, of, a lot of agreements. The monument right now is tied to the 200 nautical mile limit of the U.S. exclusive economic zone. That's right. Um, so protecting it within the monument borders would be a bit tricky, mm -hmm. um, but there are other ways to protect international waters, um, potentially. So, um, and actually right now the monument is going through the process of being considered for sanctuary status. That's right. Um, anybody that's interested in that can go to the .gov um, website to learn more about the sanctuary or the monument and consideration for sanctuary status. Do you want to keep stepping to the south here? Yeah, let's keep heading to that waypoint six. Okay. And this heading that we've got is great. Okay. Nice little we'll sea star over Bridge there. Bridge nav. Oh, look at Can that Can we cute move four yeah. zero yeah. meters bearing chunky. one seven zero, please? Oh, that little pillow. Thank oh. you. Cute. Let's see if that's on we'll our wish list. We'll do a quick zoom there, list. please. That is inflated. Mm -hmm. That uh -huh. might be something we want to collect. It looks prickly on the surface. Can we hold ship's position, Yeah, please? can we hold ship's okay. position? Come by, please, Bridge Steve. Bridge nav. Um, let me pull up. Sorry, Chris's. can we hold position here, please? Chris Thank you. List. It sort of looks like a biscuit star a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking it might be. Nothing makes you find a sample faster than asking for a ship. Of course. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. I just want to pull up a better image of this thing. Biscuit. Come here, Biscuit. <laughs> that didn't work. Why is that not working? Come on. Can we get a closer zoom on that? Yes, stand by. It's not, uh, maybe, I don't think this is quite what we're looking for when we look at it close up, but. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. 
la la. Yeah, either it's flipped upside down or it's a different species than what Chris is looking for. So let's just get some really good um, close-ups. Oh, well, thank you, Annabelle, for pointing something out. Okay, Steve is letting us know it's a slime star. Um, Probably not the biscuit star that we yeah. have in Chris's okay. wish list. Got it. How do I, should I pay out? Okay, haul in, I mean, haul in, thank you. Okay, thanks for watching me there. Yeah, so what Chris is looking for is a Goniastieridae. I probably didn't say that right, but it doesn't seem that that is what we're looking at. Okay, can we come wide then, please? Yep. Okay, we'll move along. Thank you. Okay, ready to keep going south? Yes. Okay, bridge nav. Can we move four zero meters bearing 170, please? Thank you. Thanks for the confirmation, Steve. Is that Steve Oskovich watching? Yes. Hello, Steve. What's up, Steve? Yeah. Okay. Do we know the name for all of these orange sort of spiny sea star organisms? Uh, we do. They're, uh, and I forgot it, it starts with a B and an R. Brig uh, something or others. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it's a Brian <laughs> told uh, me what it was, and I don't remember where it is. Brian, uh, can you put it in the chat again? If, if you're listening. Yeah, if you're listening. <laughs> it was way, way back in the beginning. <laughs> Uh, Brissingid? Brissingid, yeah. Oh, Something like awesome. that. Awesome. Thank you, Annabelle. I've heard Brissingid and I've heard Brissingid, and I don't know which one's right. You say Talus, I say Talus. Ah, uh, Talus. <laughs> that one's got a funky nose. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That, wow. Am I seeing oh. a, it's an old sponge. Am I seeing encrusting sponge on a dead sponge? What am, what's that purple stuff? Coral. Is it coral? The Yeah, the purple might be... Um, Zoom in, please. Uh, a coral. Wow. It shows that even dead animals are still such a valuable asset down here. Stolen wow. it for Incredible. Wow. Looks like a Brillo brush. <laughs> All right, thanks, Steve. Make sure that wasn't on Chris's wish list. Which is a very long list. <laughs> oh, yeah, that star was on Chris's wish list. Oh no. Oh well. Do you want to go back? Wait, are we talking the puffy star? Yeah, that the, puffy the star. The slime star. Yeah, it was a slime or cushion star. Well, we'll maybe we'll looking. see another one. Thankfully, Chris is having dinner, so he doesn't know that I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> nice boulder. It's funny seeing these boulders on the tops of the ridges, yeah, or, or near to the top, anyway. Seems kind of strange to me. Yeah, I don't really quite understand the formation of this feature that we're on. We saw when we were at having dinner, looking up, you know, I just see these like crazy pillow bombs everywhere. Yeah, funny. Um, and, you know, both extrusive and intrusive type features. Interesting, a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Mm. 
Oh, there's so many things on this wish list. <laughs> Everybody keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We did get that purple stolen a friend with the uh, furry hat sponge. Okay. Okay, we're approaching waypoint six. Do we want to pause here or keep heading south? I think we'll keep heading south. These okay. rocks aren't good for sampling and I haven't quite seen a new thing that we need to sample yet. Okay. New animal. What's this little squishy brown thing just beneath the lasers? Squishy, oh, that's, I think that's that same bearded sponge Oh, thing. is it really? But okay. yeah, give a zoom in zoom and in, let's please. have yep. a look. Kind of looks like a tribble. <laughs> and I'm probably dating myself by saying Trouble that. with tribbles. <laughs> Annabelle, do you know what a tribble is? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, a, it's an original Star Wars reference. Star Wars? <laughs> sorry. Star Trek. Oh my gosh, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's that same sponge that we sampled earlier. And yeah. also, still, associations with a Stolonifera right nearby. The purple cool. purple corals. Not on top of it, but right next to it. Yeah. Okay, come wide, please. Bridge nav. <coughs> Can we move five zero meters bearing 165? Thank you. And another rather large specimen of what looks like one of these bolostoma. Bol bolostoma. I forget. Is that the sponge or the coral? The sponge. sponge. That little the cotton ball sponge thing oh, yeah. in front of us. I'm not sure exactly what the other sponge is in the top left of the Herc view. Why don't we go explore and find out? This one you're looking at? Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. Look at the density of life. It's incredible. Oh, wow. well, is that what I want? Here. Another fuzzy boy. <coughs> Definitely got stuff on the inside of that one. Mm -hmm. You can look down at it with bubble. Oh, yeah. You can zoom in with bubble if you want. Can we get that? View, yeah, thank you, yeah, Steven. zoom in on this one. Ah, gotcha. See if I can All line right. it up. Oh, that's focus. Whoa. Uh, Below it. Zoom. Yeah. Okay, let's I've try. never seen a bubble zoom before. Ah, I've never done a bubble zoom before. Can you? <laughs> I do not know how to fly for this. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> we can adjust focus a little bit. Really? Trevor, oh. why is it called bubble zoom? Bubble is the name of the camera. Okay. And zoom is self-evident. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Uh, That's cool, a little guy living in there. Yeah. Squat lobster. Focus. Good one. Not All exactly right. sure what kind that is, um, but thank you for the 
close-up imagery. Hmm, someone's wondering if the red and the white squat lobsters are the same species. I don't think I saw any red ones. Did we see red ones earlier? Um, yeah, we saw a t uh, spindly mm. red one earlier that was carrying um, something on its back. Oh, nice. Oh, I love those ones. Yeah, with the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Light here, so I can see. Fish. Yep, we got a fish. Is that a holosaur? Okay, and if you're still with us, we got a fish in view here too. And another squatty sitting right by the fish's left. Another two. No, oh, yeah, right. I love these rock formations. All oh, they got all the little micro caves. Mm -hmm. That's really, really cool. So you're saying you, you're not sure how this seamount formed, or what's this, what's the history well, on this? Well, we don't even. It's not even really a seamount. If you look at um, the multi-beam bathymetry of this feature, which we don't have, we only have three passes on. But it's just an elongated, rugged ridge feature without a clear summit. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's just it kind of looks really pimply <laughs> in a way <laughs> wild um yeah so we were really unsure what we were going to see when we came down here um in terms of the rocks this area is kind of perplexing in terms of the formation history um you've got these really distinct seamounts further south of us but up here it's we've got these elongated ridge features um we're going to try to dive on another one tomorrow um yeah complex geological origin here that we're trying to figure out that's fascinating. Yep. Oh, can we do a quick round of introductions for the people at home? Why not? I'll start off, I'm Shelby Johnson. I am a science communication fellow with Ocean Exploration Trust on the four to eight watch. Annabelle? Hi, I'm Annabelle. I'm a microbiology student also on the four to eight watch. Are we just going down the row? Is that yeah. what you want, Shelby? Yes. All right, hello everybody. I am Beth Orcutt. I'm a senior research scientist at the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences. I study microbes that live at the bottom of the ocean. Um, this is my second Nautilus cruise out here in the Central Pacific. Diane, do you want to introduce yourself? I would love to. Um, I'm Diane. I'm doing the data logging on this 48 shift. And I'm new to the Nautilus as the science manager in training. Uh, up in the front row, we got Steve in the video chair. Hello, everyone. Birthday Glad to boy. be here. Birthday, Steve. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Steve, can you put on the cam that shows the front row while they're introducing themselves? Sure thing. So folks are watching at home, channel three, we'll put up shortly. You'll see a view of our pilots and navigator. Is that okay with the front row? Okay. Ashton, if you're not too busy, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Ashton Jackson. I'm from uh, Lubbock, Texas. I live in New Orleans now, and I am learning to be an Argus pilot at the moment. I guess an Atalanta pilot. Mm -hmm. And you're doing great. Thanks. I'm Trevor Herc. Short and sweet. <laughs> Say more. <laughs> 
I'm Lynette. I'm a master's student in ocean mapping, and this is my second trip on Nautilus and my first time in the navigator seat. You're also doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Another one of these dead sponges covered in mm -hmm. yeah. stone infra. Dead Beautiful. things covered in live things. Yeah. Well, if it's still structure that puts you out in the water, might as well colonize it. Mm -hmm. Maximize space. Looks like we have maybe a rather large sponge coming into our port side view momentarily, based on the view from Atlanta. I know the suspense is just keeping you on the edge of your seat. It's not those. <laughs> Still coming. There it is. <laughs> oh, wow. There's so much to see. I know. This terrain is interestingly more rugged than it looks like on high pack. Do you know what resolution this map is? Uh, it's probably a hundred meters. Hundred meter grid. Yep. Yeah, and where we chose to dive is like right on the edge of one line. Added some more to it on this, right before this dive. Very cool. Oh wow! Interesting structure too. Double checking that this isn't, this may be on our wish list. I am not sure. Can we pause here for a moment? You bet. Hold position, please. Bridge nav. <coughs> uh, any of our animal experts joining us from shore, if you Can we hold ship position here, please? Help me understand if this is a Uratinity today. Thank you. I'll get a good look at the base here, too. I know that can be helpful. Yeah. Zoom in, please, Steve. Konolastamatane. I'm really screwing up that name. <laughs> Can you turn on porch light, please? Yeah, porch light. Come Let's on. See what that does for us. Oop, too far down, Trev. A little bit brighter. Uratine. Where did I see that earlier? Oh, now that we're looking at under the under the base, it looks kind of similar to what you're talking about, Beth. Yeah, that's what I was. It seems like the defining characteristic yeah. of this thing. So, so give us a moment, please, to uh, see if this is what we're looking for. That might be a sample worthy. Steve, you want to zoom in right up close on the edge of it? Seems very similar. It's not that. It's not that. Mm -hmm. Nope. Wild. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. What's attached to it? The red. Interesting. I'll have to look that up in a minute. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all wondering. Uh, Could that be a prestigious sea star? Maybe? I am not a biologist. Disclaimer. Do not take my <laughs> word as any scientific information. <laughs> all right. Come wide, please. I'm going to reapproach it here. Backed away. No, nope, it's not that. Steve is recommending that perhaps we take a, a sample of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Just give me one more second to yep. uh, look through a couple more of these sure. species identifications. Can you zoom in again? Or, sorry, zoom in here, please. Sorry, nav. Just so I can get the 20-meter grid, yeah. Thanks. It looks kind of like... Oh, maybe I should look at the other list. Come here, list. Oh, there's an interesting thing. Yeah, nice. A lens <laughs> scooter. <laughs> Where did you go? Not that one, this one. All right, can we get a tighter shot of the uh, inside or like the rim there? The rim, yeah. Just Let me see if I can get look, looking down on it a bit more. Okay, we're going to have to move the ship back if we want to sample it. Zoom in, please. 
Okay. Yeah, could we do that, please, Lynette? Yep. Come down in Delta, please. Boat 10. This is the rim you're talking about? This is exactly it, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the specimen we're just looking at here, a picture from um, Musician Seamount, which is a little more to the southeast, somewhat similar. I think it's worth going ahead and taking a, a specimen of this. Okay, come wide, please. So we think this might be a Uratidae oh. type Come sponge. up on Delta, please. Coming yeah. up, sorry about that. It's all good. Mm. The folks watching are guessing that the organisms attached to the sponge may be basket stars. Who could be, yeah. I'm definitely looking at pictures and it's definitely looking quite similar. So maybe. Okay, come uh, wide on bubble, please. Just give me a preset one. All right. Thank you. Do, you. do you have the name of that, Diane, for what we think we're collecting? I don't, but I have a recommendation from Steve to say it may tear easily and slurp up well if you are short on box space. <laughs> we think so it's this. Kay. Yeah, target slurp it, yeah. I believe so. Yeah, I'm getting pulled off a little bit, so we're going to have to wait uh, five minutes or so for the ship. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one minute. I don't know. We're not in a huge hurry. That's okay. Sounds good. In the meantime, we can keep imaging. Yeah, and figuring out what these little <coughs> pink jimmy jams are. If we got time to wait, then we could ask Steve, do you think it'll slurp if I just nuzzle it with the slurper? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steve, we got a question about nuzzling. <laughs> <laughs> he says yes. He says yes. Okay, great. How about great. a nuzzle? Nuzzle. Slurp nuzzle. Oh, that's way better with that on. Okay. Let's, uh, Okay, can I see craft arm, please? Yes, sir. I might be able to reach it right now, but I'll, we'll see how it goes. Trevor, let's try slurp two on that, slurp jar two. Okay, can you uh, cycle my slurp jars, please? Do you know how to do that? I do, under hydraulics and sample jar forward. Uh, actually, reverse. Reverse. I think. All right. Hey, why are you stuck? Okay, yeah. Oh, maybe that's a basket star. Is Come there a there number we we're looking for? Yeah, that's Gorgon one. Cephalidae. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, return to sender. What number would you like? We want two. Okay. Grab the hockey pucks. That is two. Slurp two. All right, where are you going, Herc? Come on back now. Okay, can I get front porch view, please? Yes. There you go. Folks seem pretty certain that it's basket stars. A lot of people are saying, I think so, and 100%, so I guess maybe we'll confirm <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking through our... Okay, Steve, <laughs> half zoom, please. Good there, and we'll do 50% uh, on the slurp, please. Coming up on slurp. We're at fifty percent. Okay. That thing is significantly larger than I thought oh, it was. Oh wow! Look at it, it's just coming right off. Wow. That is delicate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great recommendation. There it is. That was a great recommendation. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Steve. Great call. Get a little bit more, and then make sure you got it actually enough there. Yeah, how is it looking in the slurp jar there? You can see it floating good. around in channel three. Yep. Maybe a couple yeah. more pieces. Yep, got a lot more space. Oh, uh oh, come on. There we go. Okay, thank you, Steve. Good job, team. Why is that not working? All right. All right, we can go, when Trevor's ready, we can go ahead and put that ship smooth slurp back in. Is Slurp is still on. Would you like yeah, to keep it? Yeah, keep it, it on, please. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it all actually got out of the hose.
Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else come back in the slurp chamber. Okay, great. Okay, you can kill slurp now, please. All right, killing slurp. Beth, how do you feel about an EDA? And can I see uh, craft, please? When was the last time I collected one? Mm, over an hour ago, I believe. You can spin that back to flush. Okay. Are we going to do Niskins? Uh, yes. One second. And you can run that on 100%. Right, it was an hour ago. We collected two EDA plus one for my. Yes. 100% slurp, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and collect one, please. That's going to be Niskin, Niskin number four. Niskin four. All right, slurps at 100%. Rock on. Make sure there's no leftover sponge in that tube. Thank you. Doesn't look like there is, but running it for a bit longer. Confirming four. Four is correct. Uh, let's go this way. Oops, swing and a miss. Oh no. There we go. Yep. Four is triggered. Four is triggered. How, um, what's your Z off bottom? 6.6 uh, 6 meters at, at the aft end of the vehicle. Yeah, right. We're at a bit of a slope here. Right above a giant sponge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at that porch light. Let's turn porch light off with it in view. Doink. Cool. All right. Uh, Niskin's triggered. Jar is flushed. You can secure that slurper. All right. Secured. And you can give me front porch view, and I think we're good to move. Nice. Okay. Nice view down on the inside of that sponge while we're waiting. Yeah. Bridge nav. Mm -hmm. <coughs> can we move five zero meters bearing one seven zero, please? Thank you. All right, I'm going to mark off the, the things that I think we've collected. May I use your pen, Diane? Of course. Okay. 170, you say? Well, I will go this way then. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I think we got that. We collected something else on Steve's wish, uh, Chris's wish list, didn't we? All right. We Thanks, Steve, so much for tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate your shoreside support. For our audience at home who can't see or hear <laughs> any of the things, keep talking to these people you don't know. <laughs> um, one of the wonderful features of Ocean Exploration Trust and working with EV Nautilus is that we have a dedicated online chat portal for our experts ashore to be able to tune in and give us their uh, expert guidance while we're exploring. Zoom in, Steve, on this fish maybe? Oh, that's a tiny one. Oop. Oh, and, and fast. It's scaring away. I don't think we'll be able to ID that one, <laughs> will we? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Small, fast, black fish. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, okay, I feel like we collected something else. That oh, was wow, this just keeps going, this community. Whoa. Wow. You can come, oh, you are coming down, awesome. Coming down just a little bit. Um, Trevor, how difficult would it be to come down to the bottom of this slope feature so that we can see if there's any broken rocks that might be able to be picked up? Uh, you mean this little micro one or the whole? Yeah, no, just like one? what we're looking at right now. Oh, that should be fine, yeah. yeah. You can keep coming down on Delta. Just All right. pop down a moment come and see down. if there's anything that we can pick up. Come on down. Heading down. Oh, yeah. How are these chunky monkeys? Hmm. Is that what you're looking for? These kind of angular ones, or are we looking for something else? Yeah, we're looking for more samples for Val. Um, okay. There's your thing back. Um, yeah, some of, the, some of these might... Uh, where are our layers? Ours? Okay, I wouldn't, that one's probably too big. Uh, uh, let's see, yeah, that could be. That could fit in... I mean, that can definitely fit in Echo or Foxtrot. Whichever one, we don't have one in yet, but uh, I don't think it'll fit in the smaller one. Yeah. What do we still have open, Diane? Foxtrot. 
That's it? Uh, for a large rock, yes. Okay. How about for smaller rocks? We got room for smaller rocks? Uh, we might be able to double up on A or D. Oh, yeah. We might even be able to fit. What about over here? Ooh, okay. Do you want me to hold station here? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you, Lynette. I Bridge forgot nav. to ask. Can we hold position here, please? Thank you. So we might even be able to fit a medium-sized rock on the top of the one in Echo. Okay. I can't guarantee, and if not, we can always fail over to putting it in Foxtrot. So that could be a first step to save space. Anyway, what do you yeah. think? Uh, one second, I see that Val is typing. Val is okay. typing. Yep. Uh, all right, Val, is there anything in particular you're seeing? Um, I've lost now where I was, Trevor. I think we were looking at this one. Yeah, I think so. Originally, we were a little over to the left. Now yeah. we're more. Hey, there was one little more sponge in the in the hose. We got a little cute one in flush jar. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't forget me. <laughs> I'm a sample too. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is the one we're trying to get right there. Okay. Are we still waiting on? Nope. I think nope. Niles says that's good. Okay. Looks like I can even land on this rock too. Is the goal to collect as many rocks as we can, or is there sort of a goal number per dive that Val is trying to get, or we're trying to get? Uh, so with rock samples, you don't know until you get them back if they are altered uh, or not. Okay, mm -hmm. craft iron, please. So we kind of hedge our bets craft and try to collect maybe a little more than we think we need because some of them may not be suitable for Give the dating room. purposes. Do you want to pour your light? Got it. Are you okay? Ooh, hello. Uh, yeah. No, no thanks. Oh, that just came oh, right that was, up. Yeah. Okay, was like, yeah, please we're ready. zoom in there. Why is this not? Hello? Oh, did I hit the button? Ha <laughs> ha, that's why. Here we go. Oh, and it has some of the... Oh, we got um, the wispy whispers. The wispies wisp on, on there. it, yeah. Looks beautiful. Okay, come wide, please. And just to remind me, there's nothing floaty in Echo or Foxtrot. I sorry, I can't. Nothing keep track floaty of that. in Echo or Foxtrot. There is the large rock in Echo. Okay, nothing. I bet this will stack on top of Echo. And Foxtrot. Okay, open the box, please. Just part way. All right. Sample tray coming out. And stop there. Yeah, that'll definitely fit in there. Is that okay, Echo? Yep. Great. Echo, taken. All right, sample tree going in. All right, and then we can kind of, when you're ready, Trevor, hop back up to the kind of top of this little ridge feature where we just were. Okay. And we'll put that ship's move back in, Lynette. Okay, I won't be able to okay. move along at the top of that thing. The okay. ship's gone, kept going a little farther, but I can go up there and check it out, and then we can move along after. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, let me get my camera figured out here. All right. How does the current feel down here to you, Trevor? It's uh, not bad. Okay. Uh, it's coming, coming off the top, if anything. Okay. Kind of. Well, let me think about this. A little bit left to right. So what is that? That's heading north. Yeah, south to north. South to north, yeah. But it's not bad. I'm going to go up this way first, and then we have to head more south after that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Easy. Okay, are you ready for a ship move? We can do a ship move, yep. Okay. Bridge, nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing one seven zero, please? Thank you. That's a great delta. Okay. 
I was just going to ask, what is our delta? Right now it's 11. All right. When we're stretched out like this, we get a lot oh. lower. Now, so that's about as high as I can get on this without a ship move towards the west. So I say okay. we abandon the hope all you enter and head south. Yeah, that's fine. Great. All right. Yeah, this feature does look pretty steep. It does. Surprisingly so. Steve, do you mind bringing up the uh, sonar view in channel three? So for our audience at home, just to give you a sense of some of the hmm. sensor data we're getting as we're moving the vehicles around. We're gonna be going up the slope now. This um, view in channel three Exciting. of the quad, uh, lower left-hand corner, is giving you a view of the sonar re returns on Atalanta on the left side and Herc on the right side. So you can see that bright yellow reflection is an indication of the steepness <laughs> of these walls uh, that are coming around on Herc's backside now. Actually, you can see the wall coming up ahead of us in Atalanta's sonar, slightly off to Atalanta's port. Yeah. At about, whatever, 10 o'clock. That's the way we're actually gonna be moving, so about to head upslope again. Yeah, and I think this is the biggest slope we're going to encounter this evening. What well, we're right. coming up to, mm. our grand finale. Woohoo. Um, as we head to waypoint seven, and waypoint eight will be the top of that summit. Nice. Hey, front row, people at home are wondering if Herc has a microphone and if we're recording any type of ocean sounds on the ocean floor. No, Herc is super noisy. Yeah, maybe we would just hear thrusters. <laughs> yeah. It would be like hanging a microphone out the car window while driving down the highway to uh, try to record nature sounds. Just as too much other noises. Yeah. There are, though, um, uh, several observatories that have hydrophones on them. So mm -hmm. if anybody's interested in that, for instance, you could go to Ocean Networks Canada web page. <laughs> And they have several hydrophones that are deployed in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. Uh, and those are often used to understand the migration of um, marine mammals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe there's some also on the axial volcano in the regional cabled array. Um, There shelf we go again. plate thing here. I isn't was just there? about to say, yeah, it looks like stairs for a second. Yeah, it's like a really <laughs> thin. Well, I guess there's also a sponge in there. That's not just a sheet, is it? Some in of it, please. I think. Oh, no. Okay. It is a ledge. Look at the yeah. animals living underneath there. There's too. something in there, though. Oh. We turn on porch light. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> does it help? Aha. Oh, it does. Oh. It does. Is porch light uh, facing more forward these days? Very, very low. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's cool. Totally new perspective. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. That was cool. That I was cool. I didn't realize that was like dire so forward directional now. Yeah, we added two more. So instead of just the one looking into the box, there's also uh, two low on the starboard side. Might be able to see it, actually. Mm, there's several sheet flows here. Yeah. Can you turn on porch light, please? Yeah, porch light coming on. There oh, it is. I see. Yep, see there it. There it is. Oh. Yeah. So a new addition and then another one, I think, just just above that or just below that? I can't remember now. I always thought it'd be cool to have a flashlight that the manipulator could pick up. And oh, totally, yeah. Oh, that would be 
yeah, that would be Okay, nice. you can stick your porch light now. You want to continue south? Yes, please. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we do another move five zero meters bearing one seven zero, please? Thank you. What's our oxygen concentration looking like these days? Still pretty low. Is that one of those stars? Oh, yeah. On the oh, lower oh, 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 left. This is Hold ship move, please. This is our second chance. Bridge nav. <laughs> sample or image? Uh, image first, potentially sample. Roger. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Press up. All right, um, pull this up. Which one am I in? Let's try that. Okay, zoomy zoom zoom, please. Looks similar to me. It's the Gonia Starid does. Let me pull up the actual photo. So my recommendation would be to slurp this uh, and use that as a suction cup to put it in the forward bio box. In the forward bio box. Is that okay? Uh, Beth, that's your call, Mr. Yeah, box. give me one second. I just want to verify if this is what we're looking for. Totally. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder, and that's why. Nope, not that one. Yeah, nope. Looks very similar to the one that we saw earlier. I am also is. looking for, and I'll be checking the chat just in case someone at home chimes in. Yeah, the one that Chris has here as a slime or cushion star is much more smooth okay. than this. So I don't think it's the same species. So now there, there will be two examples of me saying, that's not what we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so confirming we'll move along. Star. Yes. Okay, come wide, please. I don't think it's either of those. Okay. Ooh. Okay, are you ready? Ready to go. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing 165, please? Thank you. We're going 165, you said? Yes. Okay, thank you. Could you give me a DVL reset, please? Yep. Wonderful, thank you. Yep. I gotta move here. moving pretty good. So keep coming up. Yeah. We're kidding. Hauling up. That's probably very advantageous to be left-handed because you can actually do that both at once. This is actually working out kind of great. Yeah. I usually put the winch on my left hand because I can do that left-handed, but I cannot use a mouse <laughs> left-handed. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving stick shift. Totally. Having the winch in my right hand. It's perfect. Did I hear all the Atlanta, Atlanta pilots are lefties on this cruise? That's right, yeah. We are. Interesting. There's a lot of lefties on this cruise in general. <laughs> oh. 
I always want to do some sort of sociological study on these ships. <laughs> I don't know that that would be my first one. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Uh, well said. <laughs> yeah. Leave it at that. All right. <laughs> just how we stay so positive all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cake. <laughs> it's yeah. the sugar for sure. Yeah. All the tasty, tasty brown food. <laughs> or maybe all these fun critters. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, folks at home are wondering sort of what significant differences are there between the surface and where Hercules is when we think about things like pH and nitride and ammonia. Any any ammonia. thoughts on that? Interesting. Mm. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Uh, all the things that the person is asking about are not things that we are measuring um, with the sensors that are on our vehicles. So I'm going to make some speculative statements <laughs> <laughs> uh, based on just kind of general water column conditions. So we're at about, um, what are we at? 1277? 1277, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so as you move from the surface where the ship is, you've got warmer water. Um, and then as you sink down, you lose some of that thermal uh, heat. Water gets cooler. It also loses oxygen because you have animals that are respiring oxygen as they're eating up the organic material that's being produced in the surface ocean. Um, and then oxygen comes back up as you get to deeper depths, but temperature still keeps it going down. Uh, nitrate can be highly variable in the water column also, uh, like oxygen. Oh, what is this? Ooh. A sponge? Maybe. Ooh. Looks like a sponge. Oh, I, okay. What I was seeing is actually on the rock behind it. Ooh, let's go check out the rock behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just another stolen if of these purple purple Jimmy Jams. Jimmy Jams. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was on top of the sponge at first. Oh, yeah. Which would have been strange. Free ride, Jimmy Jam. Oops, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh no! <laughs> Collision! Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. It's purple. Um, for folks that are interested in water column chemistry, uh, there's a great long term observatory uh, just north of, I believe, the island of Oahu called the uh, Station Aloha. It's part of the HOTS program been doing monthly sampling of the water column uh, to full ocean depth for, oh, I don't know now, was it two decades or more? Um, but yeah, full profiles of things like ammonium, nitrate, phosphate, temperature, oxygen, chlorophyll. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Station Aloha. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. How long has that been going on for? A while. I don't remember when it started. It started when I was in grad school, um, or actually an undergrad. It was going on then, so it must have started before that. Um, so let's say at least 20 years. Awesome. Bridge Nav. Can we continue five zero meters bearing 165? Thank you. Current's now coming uh, zero three zero. Okay, so it's kind of coming around the side now. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's coming coming from the south, pushing north. Yeah, so it might be interesting uh, if we get to the waypoint eight at the top of the summit before the dive is over. It might be interesting to keep going on the other side of the summit because that's where all the water will be coming from. Yeah, right. Cool. T 
Do you mind if I take over bubble cam to do a few do checks? Yep. Thanks. Bubble cam. Bubble cam. <laughs> Fish. Oh, yeah. Hey, fishy. Hey. Manual zoom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at that tail go. The eel like Ooh. fishes. All right, bye. All right, a little bit of a career building question here. Um, people are wondering what you should study um, in school to get a job, like I guess what a lot of us do. <laughs> um, does anybody want to share maybe what they studied in undergrads or if they're sort of base major? Mm -hmm. I studied question. film and television. Yeah, <laughs> direct direct <laughs> path to the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd be working at sea. Uh, <laughs> but can you show me the white gauge just below there is? Just yeah. Tip down just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. So that was a lot of it. Very fast. Okay. So cool. Chime in. It's um, plenty fixed. Thank you. I started studying chemistry, uh, and then switched over to marine sciences when I started to learn about that. Nice. I started out studying marine science and bio, and then went on to learn more about marine affairs and strategic environmental communications. So lots of different pathways. Guessing a lot of the pilots in the front start out with some type of engineering degree. <laughs> Gonna assume? Yeah. But not always. <laughs> but not always. <laughs> <laughs> not always. I, I did. I did electrical engineering, and then I wanted to get into more uh, Earth-oriented, ocean-oriented stuff. So I did a master's in hydrographic science, which is ocean mapping. I did an undergraduate of uh, mechanical engineering and stopped there. <laughs> but I will, I, I like to say this at least once a cruise to the people that are watching that are thinking of post-secondary or are already in post-secondary and they're not sure if they're going to be good enough or they're going to struggle or they're currently struggling and thinking that it might not have been the path for you. I want to reassure you that you do not need to do well to achieve what you want. I did not ever once pass a math midterm. <laughs> Full stop. I never, never did. Can in true confession. Yeah. I love the transparency. Yeah. I was I was ready to give up a couple times. I'm like, I'm not smart enough for this for engineering, and I ended up just grinding it out and made it through and I'm glad Hold I did. Hold on one second, Trevor. Holding Sorry on. Sorry to interrupt you. Don't Can worry about that. Can we have a look at, at that star? Oh, star, just good eye, yeah. Just to see if it is the one we want. Do yeah. <laughs> so we want Third time is the charm. Hold <laughs> position here. Yes, please, Lynette. Hold position. Bridge nav. Can we hold position, please? Zoom in, please, Thank Steve. You. I'm a little bouncy, but... Oh, this one looks a little that different. That is not smooth. Spiky. That yeah, one not looks smooth. like it might... It has longer, longer appendages, it yeah. seems. Let me pull up the photo again. One second. Not that one. Yeah. Oh, it's spiky. You get a little more zoom there, Steve? Whoop, as I move the camera up. around wildly. Full zoom. Oh, wow. Huh. Spiky. It is very spiky. If we want to sample that, we're going to have to decide quickly or come back to it. We do not. It is not what we are looking for. Yeah. Okay. It's too Great. spiky. Thank you. Too Thank you. spiky. Very cool looking. Looking to see if it was a... Terrasteridae. Okay, um, continuing on. The one we're looking for has a uh, more sure, yeah. rounded bridge now. Gelatinous spiky look. Can we move five zero meters bearing 165, please? Thank you. I was looking at that one. Uh, no, it's not that one. That one was this. Where did it go? See how it has the structure looked really different. 
Good eye, though. Uh, yeah, back to the question about oh. careers. Yeah, anyway, also about my thing is <laughs> just don't give up. That's a summary. Don't That's give up. Summary. If you want it, you can do it, even if you think you can't. I, I believe in you. <laughs> you know, I'm with you. I think I retook every math in college and engineering. I was not cut out for engineering math. No, and sometimes you just not. have to grind through. And yeah. 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 And I would add that on the Nautilus Live website, under the education section there's a like career ocean careers quiz yep that anybody can do and it actually gives you a good introduction to all the different types of jobs that bring people out to sea depending on what you enjoy or what you don't enjoy yep and the folks are thanking us for our honesty that you know, sometimes <laughs> it's hard in school but just because you may not do great the first time doesn't mean that you won't ever will so mm -hmm. you can still make it don't give up guys and I'll add that you also do not have to love being in the ocean to be an ocean science. <laughs> That's I very true. I'm kind <laughs> of terrified of being in the ocean. Um, I don't think I'll ever scuba dive, but you can still you can still do this as a job. Absolutely. <laughs> There's Thanks another ROV times. pilot who will, shall remain nameless. Uh, <laughs> that uh, we were at a beach and we were up to our knees, and a little thing brushed his foot and he screamed and screamed. And ran out of the ocean. <laughs> He's been piloting for many years, so, he, you know, that's just okay. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. You don't have to be in it to love it. Yeah. Yeah. Put me in a submarine. I'm fine. <laughs> One large, smooth rock there in the midst of all of the other rubble. Yeah. What's going yeah, on with that? I don't it looked know. Like it rolled down from somewhere. Uh-huh. Wait, where is that? Can we circle that for the people if it's still in view? It is long gone. Oh, it's we'll long see gone. if we can find another. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. There's some more of the uh, wispy stuff. Look there. at the water flowing by. Can you see all the yeah. stuff shooting yeah, by? Yeah, we're coming up over this ridge. Yeah. It's just coming right in our face. Yeah. So it still looks like it's uh, headed 045. I'm looking into it 225 right now. So. Okay. Yep. Just so much color. It's yeah. really, really Beautiful. fantastic. Yeah, it looks like the winds outside have been picking up a little bit, just gradually. Nice one. What do we got? Uh, 16 there? Uh, 18 oh, now. I'm, I got it in front of me. Look at me go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the wind has not been our friend the last few days. No. It's chased us out of the monument. <laughs> that and is a great way. To, that's exactly what happened. Chased us out. <laughs> chased of the us out. <laughs> <laughs> we ran. <laughs> we ran as Very fast well as we could. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to have to go even a little further north tomorrow. Yeah. Before we get back into the monument. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, Asako. One of our experts is joining us from shore. It's kind of an interesting bear patch on the left. Mm -hmm. Trevor, can we get a, a partial zoom on this kind of bearish rock right in front sure, of us? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Just looks kind of crumbly. crumbly. It does look crumbly. Hmm. It's actually more of a sheet flow. It's just covered in a little bit of sediment. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Another oh, fish. fish. Hmm, there's a nice little pink coral over there. We haven't seen that in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm. Are all these, these corals are all about the same age. They're, yeah, they're all very similar sizes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are. 
There's a couple of those big boy sponges, but there's not... Uh, we haven't seen the big fans. Yeah, I haven't seen big fans. I wonder if that's telling of something. Seamount age, I, one event that happened, or I don't know. But we think these seamounts are just old, so it doesn't... Right. I don't know. Something, something going on here. It could be, again, we're still in a relatively low oxygen concentration, so oh. maybe these species just can only get so big. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Wild guesses here. We've got our bearded hat. Sponge back. <laughs> yeah. We've seen a couple of those. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. They're on the left. Yeah, I think we passed bearded over three bearded in the last. Mm -hmm. Furry hat? I don't know. Just okay. to the port. We're just about to waypoint seven. Do we want to continue down toward waypoint eight? I think so. Yeah, there's. Okay. Yeah, let's. How do you feel about going up this ridge to the more ridgy part before heading down to eight? Yeah, what, okay, direction, and we are... I would say we had more 210, at least a step or two. Okay. Just just a suggestion? Yeah, that, I like that idea, instead okay. of just heading straight to yeah. waypoint eight. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Curve around a little bit. I don't think it's that one. Chris was on Bridge when we were nav. looking at that. But we can pull it up. What is it called? Can we go four zero meters... Bearing two one zero, please. Thank you. I've got strong Lakers vibes for all the basketball fans. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow and purple. Kobe would be proud. Crabby. Kobe. Oh. Kobe. <laughs> Rest in peace. But yes, Kobe Bryant. It's not quite the same. It's got a little bit more of this purpley color. One of the things that I found fascinating when we were diving on the seamounts on the southern end of the Papahanaumoa Kuakea Marine National Monument on the Luaea Hihi Kapapaku expedition last year was that every seamount we dove on and even the different ridges of the same seamount had very different animal communities. Mm. So interesting. Um, yeah, I'm curious what tomorrow is going to reveal. Really. Hmm. Someone's wondering, we know what percentage of the ocean floor is considered protected. I don't That's know. a great question. That's a great question. Yeah. Does a country's EEZ go down to the sea floor yes. over the water column as well, right? Yes. Oh. Um, but uh, an EEZ isn't necessarily protected. Mm. Um, uh, and for the folks at home, EEZ stands for Exclusive Economic Zone, which goes out to 200 nautical miles around uh, a nation. It's where they have the right to manage those waters and the seafloor and the resources therein. Yep. Um, there is a Marine Protected Area Tracker. Uh, I don't remember the name of the website, but it keeps track of how much of the seafloor is protected or how much of the ocean is protected and under what kind of protection status, because not all marine protected areas are the same. Um, and I know that there's a target in the conservation space of trying to preserve 30% of the ocean by 2030, mm -hmm. which is an ambitious target, but many people are working on it. Little fish. Trevor, can we please get as partial zoom on this? Yes, we can. 
can. So I just did a quick search and um, there's a website called Marine Protection Atlas. Oh, nice. Thanks, awesome. Steven. Which okay, zoom in, please. If I interrupt you there, Steve. It's all good. Uh -huh. uh, I just Look at the sponge see here. If this, mm, yeah, I wanted to see if it's nice. on Chris's wish list. Um, it, can we hold a ship's move, Lynette, if possible, while I'm trying to figure this out? I'm not sure how much leash we yeah. have. Ship's going about four more meters. It'll be all right. There's some kind of tentacly creature. And a squat lobster there. Bridge On nav. No, it's not that species. Okay, we're good. We're good. Good? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Lynette, you can oh, hold on that. Thank you. Never mind. Sorry. So this says 2.8% of the ocean is fully or highly protected from fishing impacts. Only 2%. Fishing and that's impacts. just fishing impacts? And impacts. it says 7.7% 7 .7 is protected according to WDPA slash protected planet. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I'm sure you could read more at mvatlas.org. Like at okay, do we want to keep moving along this ridge? Uh, are we? Do we feel like we're at the top of it yet? No, we got we got uh, some more to go. We can go a little bit more. Yeah, we can go due south. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds fine to me. That seems to be straight yep. up the hill for me. Yeah. Okay. That looks like a good Great. trajectory. Okay. Let's do that. Bridge nav. Can we move four zero meters, bearing one eight zero, please? Thank you. There's a sea star over there yeah, on the well, left. <laughs> I don't think it's what we want. <laughs> okay. We, we do a quick snap Just, zoom Just, yeah, a quick that. snap zoom is fine. Okay, go ahead, Steve. It's not going to be pretty, but <laughs> so let's see the star will be. It looks yeah, similar it looks to like that the one same we just one. saw. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's thanks, so much. Thank you. Ooh, I've been, I got distracted. I'm falling behind. Got to put pennies in the bank. Oh yeah, the zoom bank. <laughs> Even though they're not very tall, there's just an incredible density of corals here. Mm -hmm. Kind of switched over from lots of sponge to also now a lot of coral. Are they corals that are actually that color or are they covered in, what are they called, zoanthids? Uh, it looked like it was actually the coral. Beautiful. So. Is it zoanthids or is it hydroids? I get those all mixed up. Yeah, I don't know. So don't ask me. Are you talking about that? But that's no, that's some of uh, light. Yeah. There's some yellow creepy crawly that covers up coral and uses it for nefarious purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. it sounds like hydroid. Hydroid? That sounds familiar in yeah, that it's, context. It's Hydrid or zoanthid? I don't remember. We don't have Steve on with us now to uh, uh, too bad. help clarify. What is this? All the way over here on the left. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, the little target spot there. Yeah, yeah. What is that? I got some pennies in the zoom bank so we can check it out. Okay. <laughs> Something I, I think I used seen. all my pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, zo Steve, zoom in, please. I guess it's just a hold fast, maybe? Oh, yeah. From something like that used to be there. Oh, oh interesting. It almost looks painted on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's another little cup coral there. we also get a partial zoom of this? Yes, we can. Okay, zoom there, please. I don't know why I'm looking. 
Okay, it does Chris doesn't have any coral on his list. It's pretty. Yeah. It is beautiful. Delicate. Someone asking if there's LPS down here or just SPS. I don't know what those acronyms are. All right, thank mean. you. <laughs> LPS uh, and SPS. Hmm. Uh, LPS might be lipopolysaccharide, hmm. which is basically the goo in biofilms, but I'm not sure if that's what they're referring to. What was that? What was it? Did you see something? Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to figure out the oh. the coral that we were zooming in on. I was just trying oh, to look yes. through this identification. Get some more zoom bank action. Oh, it looks like SPS and LPS are coral classifications. SPS stands for small polyp stony, and LPS stands for large polyp stony. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's a classification for hard corals. Yeah, we don't get a lot of the hard corals mm -hmm. down here like you do on uh, more shallower coral reefs. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Uh oh, we're going to be at waypoint eight before the next watch. I know. What is inside? Can you yes. show porch light, please? Yeah, porch light. Oh, Ooh. zoom in, please, Steve. Oh, wow, look at that structure there. Those colors. What is in there? Ooh. Wild. Kind of furry as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. You can kill porch light. Mm. I'm really enjoying the new porch light. Yeah, me too. That's set up. Great change. I'm not enjoying the speed of the PTZ or PT extend. PTX? P mm. PTE? PT? Pan tilt? Pan tilt extend. Oh. Sometimes we call that like a booming in and out. Oh yeah, okay. Or dolly. Dolly. Dolly Parton. Or track. It's like a crane boom, right? Right. Okay. Definitely nearing the top now. I'm getting a lot less current pushing me down. Oops, just fish nice. off to our left, it looked like, maybe, or maybe not. Hello, ghost fish. More of these. Another beard hat. Yeah. They kind of look like chestnuts, too. Uh, kind of like chestnuts, mm -hmm. or a buckeye. I don't have any Ohio fans here. Yeah, a buckeye. <laughs> 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 Keeps you warm in those Canadian winters. <laughs> Yuck. Some nice rocks. Which 
Which way are we going? 155, was it? 155. Thank you. Yep. People are wondering, what is this wish list we keep referring to? I don't know, Annabelle, do you want to read off some of the things that are on the wish list? Um, particularly, this is uh, Chris Kelly's wish list, the scientist ashore, that's helping us identify some things. Uh, yeah, there's a lot on this wish list. It is. Um, <laughs> Lots. But there are sponges and some sea stars and a lot of things that I don't know what they are. <laughs> Science yeah. party, this is uh, this is Val in the lounge. Uh, sorry, we, we missed your first call. What's up? All right. Um, yeah, he's he's over here and uh, says, yep. "Yeah, we'll talk." Uh, I'll come up in a minute. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Do you guys want to stay on this ridge um, or angle more toward waypoint eight? On the ridge, please. On the ridge. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, coming back to the question. Wait for our nav to get called in. Is that a urchin? So, for folks interested in our wish list, um, if you were to go to oceanexplore.noaa.gov, one of their data products is a benthic animal guide, which provides you with all kinds of imagery of animals that have been seen in the deep sea. There's a subset of that list that has been generated for the monument uh, and also kind of cross-referenced with an animal guide put together by uh, the Deep Sea Animal Research. Oh, I don't know what the C stands for, but it's Center. Dark. Center, yes. yes. Deep Sea Animal Research Center, Dark Lab yep. at the University of Hawaii uh, with other deep sea species around this area. And we have a subset of that subset list where there are organisms that have, uh, let's say, confusing taxonomy. And so we're looking for those. One of our scientists provided us, us with a list of those animals. Um, Whoa. And I'm going to go off Whoa. mic for a moment while we hmm. confer about our dive plan. Look at the size of that. Zoom in a little bit, please, Steve. Woo. That's good there. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. I think that's similar to what we sampled yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. Yep, that we uh, slurped and it just kind of yes, came right off. <laughs> Same uh, associate species yeah. on there. Either that or similar. Interesting. Thank you, Steve. What's up here? Ooh, look Whoa. at this thing. What are you? Hmm. Oh. It's a bunch of those baskets. It looks like those baskets. Yeah, but they're like on they a bubblegum coral. But they're on Zoom in, please. Something. Wow. I think it's a bubblegum coral. I think it you are right. Can you give me porch light, please? Yeah, yeah let's maybe light. hold oh, position nice. for a minute so we can look at this a little bit more. It's like three different things oh, wow. on yeah. top of each other. Oh, my goodness. And Lynette, I'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> Do you want to get a bit without lasers, maybe? Yes, please. Thanks. Yeah, what are we looking at here? We have got this in our list. Oh, I'm going to just yeah, please. kill my camera here. Yep. All right, everybody, <laughs> all of our <laughs> scientists are sure, like, wow, wow. <laughs> there are sea urchins down below there also. All sorts of good yeah. stuff. Yeah, Goodness. So lots of stuff like, uh, intertwined around each other, some moving, some not. Can you come up on Delta, please, and tilt your camera down? Yeah. Clearly a cool spot to be. Maybe this is oh. why there's not many tall corals, because this happens if they get too tall. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh look at what's on the back the side. Yeah, so we got basket stars on the back. Yeah, for sure, basket stars. OK, 
Can we tell what the underlying coral is? It's just a, is it a paragorgia? My untrained eye says yes. <laughs> I know. Wow. Ryan says they are Ascaros Asteroschematid like stars on there too. Look at that. That's really cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, this is intense. That is gorgeous. Some type of hemi. Holy moly. Coriolum. Uh, oh, there's a fish. Off. You see the to fish our scientists the ashore, Asako, or yeah. also Ryan. Uh, better with it on. Does yeah. this, it, I think. I'm hearing that I this think, might be maybe a more with species it on. that we yeah. don't know, do so think? should we try to do collect a sample of this? Do you want to go in on this fish this? there, that little black Sure, one? yeah. Keep going up on Delta, please. All right, coming up. Try to get it about 17. Okay. Can't tell oh, yeah. if it's eating something or being... Go ahead, zoom. Coming back down, stand by. Look at those tendrils. And All right, we're at Oh, there's even a little fish in there. Uh, come up more on Delta, I don't know, please. is it eating? <gasps> is it eating or being eaten? I, don't I think see. it might be being. <laughs> is it being eaten? Is it trapped? Being eaten. Maybe come up to 20. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think the fish is trapped. All right, Roger. Oh, that's kind of sad. Wow. <laughs> Tell me what. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, I can't tell. How many organisms are on this one structure? <laughs> that's a wow. great question. Ooh. Definitely one, two, three. At least four all things that look different, but they're all intertwined. <laughs> How big are we estimating this thing is? Holy moly. The is fish or the entire two, coral? Two, <laughs> is this a predation event? Is that what I'm seeing? It, I feel yes. like it's trapped in poor thing. Wow. It looks like it's just a bad thing. Is it eating it? It's probably trying to stun it's it. Zoom. Sorry, Trevor. Ha! I just lost it right as you did yeah. that. <laughs> Rats. Three out. The coral itself is a paragorgia. Okay. Yeah, and From people. A soccer. Come a little wider. So there's suggestion that the you. basket star might be worth trying to sample. One of them. There's <laughs> many to choose from. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't know what the best way is to sample a basket star. Come wide, please. I think. I think. Wow. Maybe. Just maybe we could slurp the center part. Use yep. it as a suction and put it in the front bio box. I think I'll squish it if I grab it with the manip. I agree. Yep. Beth, what do you think about the bio box, though? Well, slurp it. Wow. Don't get caught like the fish now. It doesn't <laughs> need to go in the bio box. <laughs> I'm talking use the slurp as a suction Using cup. Oh, okay. Slurp I don't think it'll fit in a slurp.